Hello everybody, and welcome back to Inscription, the game that I've never played before and I'm gonna start a new game in. <laughs> welcome, welcome, hello everybody, happy Sunday! I hope everyone's weekends have been considerably better than mine. <laughs> I have had um, a bit of a weekend, but it's okay, because now I get to play Inscription and I have Yet again, I've just been thinking about this all week. I've I've just been wanting to play this all week. Oh, and I gotta I gotta hydrate to start. Wait, I'm gonna start with the hydrate. Before I say hi to everyone, we're gonna start in style. There we go. Thank you for the hydrate. I have got the Ultra Fiesta Mango today because um I I've been drinking Ultra Rosa this whole week. All week I've just been drinking the Rosa, except for Friday when I had the the zero can for Xander's sake. And I was like, you know what? I should have a different flavor. I I have so many flavors. I got like a 12 pack of four different flavors and I've just been drinking the whole Rosa carton so far. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? From the little bit I saw of it last time, it seemed almost kind of bluish when I went into the game. I could be completely wrong. I could be misremembering. But I felt blue vibes, so I thought, you know what? Let's have the, let's have the teal can today. Let's have some mango. But yes, welcome everybody. Wow, my cursor vanishes as I go to scroll in chat. <laughs> but welcome. You're early. Yes, welcome in. Um, the the time for this stream. If you are not in the UK or Europe, um, our clocks have gone back. They went back last night technically this morning so I got an extra hour of sleep today which is very nice but um Tiffany did not realize that so I was woken up at 6 a.m because she wanted her breakfast <laughs> and oh I felt so bad I felt so guilty because Tiffany doesn't realize of course that the clocks have gone back so she's coming into my room being like it's dinner time it's dinner time I'd like my dinner now and it was like an hour early and I felt so bad. I felt so bad for her. It was like, I, we, we've decided to do it like slightly staggered. So we're not just going to be like, you don't get it for another hour. We're, we're doing it like gradually. And then we'll bring it back around to the 6 p.m. time. But oh, I felt so guilty. She was just like sat next to me, meowing up at me. Like, why aren't you feeding me? You feed me now. Why aren't you feeding me? Why aren't you feeding me? And I, she just screamed. She was very screamy. And I felt incredibly guilty, but it, she'll get used to it. <laughs> it really is wild how good her, like, body clock is. Like the, oh my goodness, we got dice. We got dice. Let me roll dice while I talk about Tiffany being cute. I rolled both of them at the same time. I, I guess I just gave myself advantage that time. It didn't really work out. I got a nine and a seven. <laughs> but thank you for the dice. But yeah, I just felt so bad because... Like, she knows exactly when it's her time for her dinner. She was, like, right on time if the clocks hadn't gone back. It would have been the perfect time. She knows when it happens. She's, like, completely in tune with that. And it felt so bad being like, I'm sorry, you're an hour early. <laughs> she doesn't understand. I wish I could explain to her. It's it's a silly system. So funny. Me and Xander were both downstairs just going like, I'm sorry, Tiffany. It is a ridiculous system. It is a waste of time it, it is very silly but alas the clocks change but yes welcome in everybody artem congratulations on the first welcome welcome and i see you say how is up dog <laughs> um well throw in throw throw towards the ceiling and that is how up dog how to up you just throw it in the air <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about Hello, welcome. <laughs> Brie, hello. Thank you for doing the backseating command. I always forget until someone posts a backseating message and then I'm like, I made a mistake. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sparrow, hello. Hello, hello. Happy birthday. Wait, I, I, oh, I usually do an automaton for birthdays, but it's already like 9 p.m. here. I think I can do a fast one. Hold on. Hold on, where's my automaton? Oh, where if I put it? Uh-oh. <laughs> what have I done? 
I'll tell you what. <laughs> I lost my automaton! <laughs> Okay, I found it. Let's do it on like quiet volume and I'll just hold it up to the mic. It's still, I think it's still gonna be quite loud if I do this, but it's okay. Also, my automaton decided to be seasonal too. She awful. Right, here we go. Last one. Can't even hear it. There we go. Perfect. Perfection. Flawless. First try. Uh, <laughs> happy birthday! Happy birthday! It's it's because I, I always have the, the redeems turned off for the Sunday streams for the automaton because of it being my late night streams. It's late at night and we have neighbours and also I live with my family and they go to bed. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's still only nine. It's still like a reasonable time, I think. For a little automaton. But happy birthday! <laughs> and it is time for card game times. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to play more of this. Also, Maya, hello, welcome. Gray Snow, hello, welcome. Limsev, welcome. Thank you so much for the hydrate, the, the hydrate to start with. Not my bum, who else is here? Susan May, thank you for the dice redeem. My I just realized I rolled a nine and a seven. I managed to perfectly avoid the eight. I, I've got like either side of eight, but I didn't actually roll eight. Yeah, th that's a bit of a shame. But I guess it kind of counts. <laughs> but was Tiffany confused when she didn't see us waking up? And I was, well, I my sleep is all over the place at the moment anyway. So she's, I don't think she cares so much about that. But it's like the time when she starts to pester me is always when she knows it's breakfast time. So she started pestering me a little earlier than usual, but I was already awake at that time. I was, um, I was, I was actually, um, kind of, uh, awake all night last night. Um, I, I started playing Slay the Spire. <laughs> I was thinking about Inscription, and I remember Xander mentioning he really likes Slay the Spire. And I was like, oh, yeah, because that's like a card game type game. I've seen other people play it. That could be fun. Let me check it out. Um, if, if you end up going on my Steam page. Wait, let me let me find my little... I was having a look through my Steam achievements list and it's um, achievement unlocked 2.35am, achievement unlocked 3.04am, achievement unlocked 3.13am, 3.56am, 2 at 3.56am, uh, 5.15am. <laughs> I was just playing Slay the Spire all night. <laughs> but like, I couldn't sleep anyway. And I was, I was feeling really meh. And I was like, you know what? You know what I need? I need a distraction. This could be a good distraction. It was a good distraction. It worked very well. I, I am now addicted to Slay the Spire. Because <laughs> a little part of me was wondering, oh, would that be a fun stream game at some point? But I think I'm happy that I've not streamed it because I just want to keep playing it. I just want to play this. Like when I have like a spare half hour free, I'm just going to be like, yeah, let's, let's have a little quick Slay the Spire run. Why not? But I, it's it's more fun than I thought it would be, I must admit. Also, Sylphie, hello. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to see you. Yes, at Atoma Blessed. And Lyra, hello. Welcome, welcome. It's <laughs> the, the little Matone. <laughs> But yeah, I was just like, I I checked it out purely because I was lying in bed. I couldn't sleep. Um, I was feeling really rough. I needed something to distract me. And I was like, I wonder what I could run that's like not too intensive that I could just play on my laptop while I'm lying in bed. Oh, Slay the Spire isn't too graphically intensive, I don't think. Let me check it out. I'll just I'll just give it a little try. If I don't like it, it's fine. Um, I did, I did, I did like it, <laughs> and I'm I'm really excited to play more of it. It's, I think, like getting started with it, like the first play. I ended up playing it for a while because I wanted to see everything, but I think in the future it is going to be like just I can only do a couple of runs at a time before I'm like, okay, that's enough. I got to stop now. I've I've always been like that with those kind of games where it's like games where you do a run or two. 
It's a. Uh, it's the same with um, when I think of things like Vampire Survivors and Hollow Cure as well. I'm always amazed at how people can just play those for hours. Cause I'll do like one or two runs, and then I'm like, okay, now I need a break. <laughs> So like Slay the Spire, it was mostly just me unlocking the characters and doing a couple runs with each one and trying to beat the bosses. And now it's going to be a, a bit more casual, I think. But I'm really glad that I started playing it. It's been a lot of fun. But anyway, speaking of card games, I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. I'm so excited. Um, it's funny because I got Xander into this too. I, I convinced him to play Inscription. Because he was like, he was going to play another game of mine. He asked me what it was like. I was like, yeah, it was all right. I'd recommend other games over it. Um, how about Inscription? <laughs> and it's it's like, it's the most Xander, Xander like vibes game I've played in a long time. As soon as I played it, I was like, Xander would love this. He must play it. So I'm glad that he finally is. But I, he's actually like at the same point as me in the game now. <laughs> So it's been really fun. We've been talking about Act 1 together. It's it's very nice. And I think he has just started Act 2, whereas I've I haven't I haven't properly started it yet. But I will do now. <laughs> so next time he plays, we'll have stuff to talk about, maybe. Maybe possibly. But I'm really excited to see how this goes. I'm I wanna I wanna know what's gonna happen. So I guess. I I didn't do anything last time, so let's just go straight from new game. I wanna see the the opening cutscene again. Let's start properly. Let's start a new game. Let's check this out. Oh, erase save data and start new game. Yeah, I, the the save data is me standing there. So yeah, let's let's start a new game, baby. Because it's it's not like the full game. The other one was continue. This is yeah. Let's let's start from the beginning. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get it. Wiping unexpected data, creating new save file, purging deck data, purging collection data, intro scribes, let's... Here we go! <laughs> In the beginning, the world did not know cards. That is, until the day the scribes arrived. <laughs> oh, look at them. Each had their own method of inscription to create cards. Ooh. Grimora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used, to, used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. We know that one. <laughs> PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. That me? I'm the challenger? Okay. And here we start the game. Choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. Okay. Oh, I have to make decisions. Oh no. <laughs> I gotta love the title drop though. <laughs> oh, I I'm I have no idea what this is gonna be like. If if there's like four different decks and I've only encountered one of them so far. Right, do I have to just like Oh I can move around! I move. Okay. Do I just have to choose one? This is so much <laughs> Oh, this is... Oh. Mm. I wonder if I can change my mind if I don't like it. Because what was it? Grimora was like the power of the dead. Leshy has the wildlife. I'm guessing that's going to be like the deck that I used in Act 1. This one was CPUs of computers. And this is... Paintings of wizards. I might just go Leshy deck to begin with, because I, I have a bit of experience. I know how this works. And I guess if I don't like it, I can start a new game. <laughs> Alright, mark my ambition. 
Your ambition is to replace Leshy and become the scribe of beasts? Oh. Hmm. Hold on, this is... <laughs> this is my problem. Are you... I... This is too much commitment. I don't want to commit to one. Who do I want to replace? A little part of me is like, what if I choose to replace the computer one because the stoat was such a such a butt to me in the beginning. <laughs> Four hours later, I might make a decision, maybe. <laughs> oh, th this is the worst part. Maybe, maybe I just go... Scribe of the Dead? Scribe of the Dead sounds cool. And then Leshy's the I Scribe of think. Beasts. P.O. Box is the Scribe of Technology. And Magnificus is the Scribe of Magics. Oh... See, they all sound very cool. Hmm. Part of me is tempted to say, like, Scribe of the Dead for spooky season, because it's ha Halloween next week. <laughs> I truly cannot think. Thank you, Zerio. <laughs> Welcome. You know what? I'm going to go. I'm just going to pick the first one. Let's see how it goes. If, if it goes badly, then oops. The cards were added to your collection. Oh, yeah. And the others have gone now. The others have gone now. Also, Jack, hello! Welcome, welcome! Oh, and Susan, mate, thank you for the head fat, Jack. Thank you for the hydrate. I will have a sip of my monster. I'm afraid you missed the can open. We had an instant monster opening, but I will have a big sip. But welcome, welcome! Happy Sunday! Hope you enjoyed the extra hour of sleep. <laughs> so I guess I'm just on a little adventure now. It's it's just become... Whoa! What is this? <laughs> It's clearly a 2D adventure RPG, Mr. Random YouTube Guy. Uh, I can't go that way. Oh. Hello? Can I talk to you? I can. Woof. I was just about to call it quits out here. But now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me should be able to get this bridge fixed in. Full disclosure, it will take me exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of those scribes. <laughs> oh, thank you for letting me know. It's That's very convenient timing. So, uh, come back later. Oh, and by the way, I know you used that new game card to get up for work. <laughs> Hello? Being called out before I've even started the game. I mean, I, I hadn't done anything. Hi. He probably wanted to try a new starter deck or something. I get it. <laughs> but, like, I have to restart on this bridge every time you do that, so take it easy, right? Well, uh, it's a good job you didn't get any progress made before because I hadn't started the game, so it's, it's good that I know that now. You are so welcome. I helped you out. You are so welcome. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I've got to go to the right then. Oh, so these are going to be the different areas. So this is going to be Grimora with the 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 Scribe of the Dead. This is going to be Leshy's Cabin. This is going to be P.O. Box. <laughs> I'm just going to keep calling him P.O. Box. <laughs> and then this is going to be the, the Magic Magnificus. Very cool. Right, part of me kind of wants to start with, with Leshy. Like, better the devil I know, right? Give it a try. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. This really is just a little 2D adventure game now. What is this? 273? I remember that. Hello, who are you? No. No fish, no pass. Oh, it's the angler! Hey! Hello! the angler it's the prospector hey prospector are you gonna also say no pass no gold no pass dang nabbit that dang hound got herself lost again you think you're getting past think again not till i get some proof my girl's all right okay can i open this <gasps> you pried the chest open and found a card pack inside <gasps> Oh my goodness, it's card packs? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I received a beastly card back. Alright, open it up. 
Ooh. I got new cards. Hawk? The hawk will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. But Crockle, Waterborne, when Crockle is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. What is an energy cell? Oh, that's going to be for, like, the, the CPU cards, isn't it? There's a good old grizzly. There's a skeleton. After attacking, skeleton perishes. And a junior sage. Huh. Interesting. So I'm, I'm guessing this is, um, this isn't from Leshy's pack. I guess there's some of everything. Because this is green. This has got, like, the blood that I'm used to from from the wildlife deck from Leshy. This is like a, a power cell, which is gonna be the computer ones. I'm guessing this is gonna be like the wizard one, and then this is the dead one. This is interesting. I don't, I, the cards were added to your collection. Okay. Can I like, alter deck? Can I build my own deck? Oh! Oh! Oh, wow! Okay, okay! Oh, this is... Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so I guess because I, I picked this to begin with, this is like my starter deck. Okay, so these are bones. This is blood. Haven't got any from there yet, but it's going to be the energy cells. And then this is whatever this triangle is. Magic. Magic cone. Oh, maybe like a gemstone. Hmm. Right, anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've only got nine cards at the moment. And I'm guessing I need 20 to make a deck. Hmm. Right, so there's a skeleton. What is this? Draugr can't be sacrificed. When Draugr perishes, the creature inside is released in its place. Gravedigger, at the end of the owner's turn, Gravedigger will generate one bone. Oh, I got a little zombie. And Frank and Stein. Oh, I love them. I love them. Oh, so this one doesn't have a cost. So this is like... Oh, wait, I've got like... These have multiples. I've got eight. I've got eight skeletons. I've got three of these Draugr. I've got five Gravediggers, three zombies, two Frankensteins. And then just like one of the ones that eight. I got from the card pack. So I guess this is my starter deck. So if I click autocomplete, stick them in. Yep. Okay, I've, I've just added all of them to my deck, I guess. Oh, it auto added the grizzly. The grizzly and the hawk. I wonder if I get blood from zombies. Hmm. It'll be interesting to figure out. Anyway, I'll just leave it like that for now. Otherwise... We will be here for an hour. <laughs> Eight. But, uh, oh, do I go inside? I'm gonna go inside. Look, it's the cabin! Wait, I entered from here? This is where the clock was. I think. Right, oh, the safe. The safe! 273! It's the same, yes! Oh, you, you take a stinking pile of meat from the safe. Oh, lovely. It's great. There is a faint odor where the meat once was. Wonderful. Great. Love it. Anything over here? Can I do this again? Oh, there's another one of these puzzles. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. I gotta make it five. This is a kills it in one hit one. But that is direct damage. So that one's stuck in place. If I bring this up, it'll hit it twice. That's direct damage. One, two... Three... Hit that once, that'll hit me. Hmm... Hmm... Oh wait, hold on. That'll hit for three. That'll hit for one and then die. That'll just hit that one. Oh no, will this pop up there? Oh th no, this one, because it's the burrow one, it'll pop up here, get hit for three. Pop up here, get hit for one. 
Oh no, this will damage it for one first. So that, that'll just be two direct damage. Three direct damage. This isn't going to be enough. Unless... I don't think this is going to be enough either. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's three. Hmm. One, two, three, four. This is four direct damage, but then because of this one here, the little pop-up one, that's the one causing the trouble here. this one popping up this this one that it moves to wherever an attack's happening i'm pretty sure from what i remember the rules interwesting also thank you for remembering the no hints command i made <laughs> i forgot for a second that i put i will eat you in it <laughs> thank you i love puzzles oh that will kill this that'll kill this if i do that so then that'll do two. Wait, this is it. Okay. So I do two direct damage, three direct damage. This will pop up here to take the hit and die immediately. That'll be the other two damage. That's it. Got it. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha I've still got it. I still remember how to play. I'm so glad. The drawer creaked open and you found a pack inside. A beastly card pack. Yeah. Ooh. I got an adder. I got Ura Yuli. I got a raven, I got a junior sage, and emerald mox can't be sacrificed. While emerald mox is on the board, it provides a green gem to its owner. They are gems! Okay. Okay, we know all of the... The, um, the ways to get the cards. Very nice. <laughs> Please don't eat you. I won't eat you if you don't backseat. It's fine. <laughs> I still laugh uh, a lot at, like, I, I don't remember who it was, but someone made a comment going, don't eat me, I taste bad. And I was like, well, it's it's meant to be, like, a punishment for you. It, I don't care if someone tastes bad. If, if you backseat, you perish. <laughs> I will suffer to take you out. <laughs> oh, wait, two packs? Oh, two packs. I love this. Oh, I love this. Another grizzly, another Urayumi, another adder. Bonehound? When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, Bonehound will move to that empty space. That's nice. That's nice. Also, Suzume, I see what you're doing. <laughs> More cards for my collection! Nice. Do oh, I'm- I'm wondering now, do I go down to the other area and see if I can get some more packs before I talk to Leshy? Oh! I can go in here? Hello? Money? You wish to trade? Oh, it's the trader! You don't perchance have any pelts? I, I don't. No? That is disappointing, but I also accept foils. Oh! Oh, I, I do... No, wait! Oh. I want the Ouroboros! Oh! Squirrel... Squirrel ball? Stoat. Hi. And a beastly pack. Okay, I don't have any foils, so I cannot buy anything from here. But that is good to know. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna head out of here a second. I want to go down. And I want to see if I can pick up any card packs over here before I start trying to battle. Whoa, this is so cool! Oh, look at this place. Oop! You're here! Marvelous! I am Grimora, scribe of the dead. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which two marks the final resting places of my lovely ghouls. Oh, it's a puzzle! It's a puzzle! <laughs> I love puzzles! Are the... What is this? I found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, eaten by a hungry dog. 
I see. Ah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, maybe I go back. Oh, do I keep doing this? Oh, the music's so eerie. Oh, I don't know what to do. I th you know what? Let's do this. Let's give it a try. Let's have a look around. So, hello. Who are you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please, let us get it over with. Oh. Okay, okay, we're battling now, I guess. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, okay. Marvelous, your first battle. Are you surprised to see me here? But you did select my starter deck. In order to play my cards, you will need to collect bones. You gain a bone when... Why do your eyes glaze over? <laughs> Marvelous, you already understand. <laughs> yes, that is exactly why my eyes are glazing over. It's because it's I know, definitely, definitely because I know. <sighs> my time as an insect was not a total waste. Yeah, lovely stink bug. I, stink bug was my favorite of the cards. The stoat was a bit of an ass, so I'm excited to see what PO Box is going to be like. I feel like he's going to be very, very superior superiority complex and I don't really know anything about Magnific Magnificus except that I um, borrowed his eye <laughs> okay a fuel cell there okay there's Bonehound so when an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space Bonehound will move to that empty space it's basically the same it's the same but like two bit style okay after attacking skeleton perishes so this is just kind of like a one hit go for it kind of thing so I guess I'll put you there and I, I guess if I get the grave digger down this one's gonna move forward well I, I guess so long as I don't play another card. Lyrial one forward. comfy, Lyrial one comfy, Lyrial one comfy, Lyrial one comfy. Oh my goodness, my text to speech changed voice. Hello? <laughs> Sandra changed her voice. That, that surprised me. <laughs> Noi, hello. Thank you so much for the resub for 44 months. That is so wild. That is such a big number. Thank you so much. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to card games. I was not expecting that voice. I. Lyrial one comfy. Yeah, the voice has changed. Who are you? Who is this? When did this happen? <laughs> Hello? Um, I guess Sandra's having a day off and got someone else to take her place. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, um, I, I, I guess that's the text-to-speech voice now. That is so strange. I didn't change anything, but I did install some updates for my bot recently, so that... It could be because of that. Evil Sandra for Spooky Month. Yes. <laughs> Just playing a little prank. Right. I, I think I'm going to... Oh, I don't have any bones. Oh, maybe I should have put the skeleton here. But no, doesn't it perish after attacking? So I'm, I'm not going to have anything on the board anyway. I think I'm just going to get hit here. What is this? Huh. I wonder if... I don't think this is the best thing to do in this situation, but I want to see... I got a bone. I got a bone when I destroyed the skeleton. Okay, I'm going to place the gravedigger here. Because otherwise this one's going to hit me. That's so interesting! I can just smash the, the skeletons whenever I want and get bones from them. That's pretty great. All right, Gravedigger digs up a bone, thank you. You're gonna get hit for two, that's okay. Ooh, Revenant, after attacking, Revenant perishes. Right, well, if I stick this one here. Oh no, then the Gravedigger's gonna, oh, this, this one's gonna pop up and hit. Oh, 
hold on, yeah. Bonehound will move to that empty space. Oh no, but there's, there's a creature inside. Yeah, let's try it. Bonehound leaps over to block. That's fine, keep my gravedigger alive a bit longer. Okay. Gravedigger digs up a bone, thank you. Draugr releases the creature inside. It's just a little skeleton, okay. But I think that's all right, because this is just gonna be here now. It's gonna kill the skeleton. Oh no, the skeleton's going to perish. Unless I play another creature and then the bone hound's gonna jump over. Yeah, I think I do that. I'm gonna stick a stick a zombie here. Oh no, I'll I'll stick a skeleton here, jump over, and then I'll stick zombie here, jump over. These two will attack and they will die afterwards, but that's okay. Oh no, I'm gonna get hit for three. Oh, it's probably fine. It's probably okay. Let's just go. Boom. I attack. I attacked for two. The skeletons collapse. Goodbye. I'm gonna get hit for three. Not great, but I'm learning. I'm learning how to play. Yeah, this isn't great at the moment, but it's okay. I don't have any blood. I, I've, got, I've just got a bunch of skeletons. They're not giving me any blood. So maybe having the grizzly in my deck was not a good idea. It's okay. Okay, my gravedigger's gonna die, but the skeleton will also die, so I think it's okay. So I'll just stick you there, so I don't get hit. Boom. Get hit for one, digs up a bone. Goodbye, goodbye. I've got a lot of bones now. <laughs> it's just a skeleton now. This one's going to hit me, but I have to block this one. At least I kill the, the bone hound by doing this. Skeleton collapses. That one hits me, but also collapses. See, the scale's going down even with the two on this side. I wonder if it is just plus to five or if it still evens out. No, I think it still does even out. Like, because I've got my two, it offsets. Yeah, the, the scales are still the same. Okay, that's good to know. I can't do anything with this hand, I guess. I got a grave digger. Let's get some more bones, I guess. That's great. Uh, oh, okay. So Frankenstein now are gonna do my attacks for me. I win. I win on account of the skeleton not having any cards left. <laughs> and that is, that is it. Cause I can't do anything with these. I just, okay. Got lots of bones. I'm, I'm just digging up bones. Sure. Increase my bone collection. All right, and I win. Oh, excess damage becomes spoils. Oh, oh, good to know. Good to know. It is over. You chewed me out. Now, please look away. Turn your eyes to this card pack instead. Thank you. I got a deathly card pack. Ooh, Banshee. We'll strike an opponent directly even if there's a creature opposing it, so it's a flying one. Bone Heap, pay two bones to increase the power and health by one. That's pretty cool. Mummy Lord, costs eight bones, but three and three. Leap Bot, and Stim Mage. Okay. I am called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Please do not go digging up my bones. Found a piece of an epitaph. It reads Sawyer Patel, 1702 to fall seven, uh, 1778. Okay, well, I, I picked up the one that was just like, what was it, like gnawed by a dog. I'm guessing that's gonna be this one. So if I go here, the middle one, that's Sawyer. Eaten by a hungry dog. From everything he's been saying, I think he was probably eaten by a hungry dog. So I'm gonna need three parts for each one. This is really cool. <laughs> Before I do anything though, I gotta fix my deck. I gotta fix this. I don't want these in my deck. I don't care if they're technically strong cards. Not for my deck. 
at the moment. I have no way of getting blood. <laughs> All right, what should I put in? Oh, I, I want a bone hound in my deck. And then I've got f six skeletons, five grave diggers, three draugr, two zombie, one Frankenstein, one bone hound. And then what was that other one that's like the three, three? Let's have you in there. And the airborne one. I'm going to make that my deck. There we go. Okay. Okay, my deck is now sorted. Let's, uh, let's talk to you, I guess. Hello, let's fight, I guess. Ooh. Hark! A living slice of lemon approaches. <laughs> Bright and triggers a lime. You think he will squeeze a defeat out of me? You really like your citrus fruits, huh? Ooh. It's a ghost ship, hi! Waterborne. At the end of the owner's turn, ghost ship will move in the direction and drop a skeleton in, in its old place. Also, it's just dropping skeletons off. That's great. Uh, okay. Well, I need to start getting some bones. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna, I don't, yeah, I don't have enough bones. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start with just a skeleton. I'm gonna smash it to get its bones. And then let's get a grave digger out here to tank the hit from the skeleton. And that will be my first turn. <laughs> Thank you for the bone. They're out here. That skeleton's gone now. Another skeleton has been dropped off by the ghost ship, but that's also blocked that skeleton, so that's pretty good. Oh, and now it's underwater. Oh, but that means I can attack directly through that. Which would be good. Tell you what. Let's get you out, because as soon as you're hit, you're going to release the creature inside. And then we'll just stick a skeleton here to do a direct hit. Yes, let's see how this goes. There we go, that skeleton has collapsed. Gravedigger digs up a bone. Ghost ship is out. Ghost ship can't attack though. So there, skeleton here. Skeleton's collapsed. Now you move over, drop a skeleton in its place. But this is great because the ship is kind of blocking the skeletons in the back that are trying to get out. <laughs> so this isn't too bad. Hmm. All right, this one's going to attack. And so is this one. But this one will do a direct damage. Let's stick the little zombie here. To kill that skeleton, because then another skeleton's going to come down, but zombie can tank it. So I'll take a hit from that, but I'll give a hit back with that, so it's, it's okay still. Boop. Skeleton collapses. Ghost ship is out. Ghost ship can't actually move to drop off. Oh no, the skeleton's dying, so it can still move. Okay. This ghost ship is quite annoying. <laughs> it's okay. I'm already on like four bones though. I think if I just keep tanking all of these hits, it's fine. I'll just stick the skeleton here. Keep tanking. Keep tanking, I'm getting bones as I do it. I'll eventually get the bone hound up. All right, only one hit, but then you get destroyed. Haha. <laughs> Drops one off there. Okay. Oh, another grave digger that can just tank a little bit, I guess. You go there. Yeah, I can't do anything else with what I have, so I got my bones. You attack, but you both vanish now. There we go. Yep, this is good. This is good, because now I have enough bones to get my bone hound out, which does two direct damage. And I can also have one direct damage from the skeleton as well. Boom, boom getting closer 
Get a few more bones. Yep. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's fine. And that's going to do direct damage because of the ship being underwater. I don't have eight bones yet. But it's fine. I think I'll just win now. Uh, can you ask me an unrelated question? Yes, definitely. Feel free. Also, Bunny Frog, hello, welcome. Uh, which starter did I pick? I picked Bones to start with. Um, I've, I've only just really started. I've been having a little wander around trying to find card packs, but uh, I'm, I am I started with Bones and it's pretty fun so far. I'm, it's pretty fun. I'm, I'm not feeling like I want to reset. <laughs> I think I just win now. Yeah, there we go. I won! Oh, so weird. Ah, you beat the pulp out of me. I bet this I bet this sailor died to, of scurvy or something. <laughs> With all of the, the fruit references. Also, Sylphie, I did watch the new alien stage. I'm... Uh, oh, it's, it's so good, but also... Uh, uh, <laughs> it's really... Oh, my heart. Oh, it's it's a lot. <laughs> oh, it's really good, though. It's... Mm. Hate how good the song is. I know, right? It's, oh, it's really, really good. But also, it's... It's it's like the weirdest... I Like, saying good feels bad. <laughs> but it is. But it isn't. Ah, you beat the pulp out of me. Firstly, take ye this. <gasps> yes, card pack. Card pack. Mummy Lord. Dead hand. When dead hand is played, discard your hand and draw a new hand of four cards. Banshee is the direct strike. Wolf Cub. And 49er. Okay, more cards. I got a rare one too. <laughs> and because ye bested me with ye, I'll share me secret. Me name's Royal. Eyes the far right too. Me is the headpiece. Found a piece of an epitaph. It is Royal Dominguez, 1589 to spring 1632. Okay, so you're the rightmost one. So you go in there. I'm guessing you probably died of scurvy or something. Oh, I can check in here. You sifted through the bones and found a card back inside. Oh, lovely. I'm getting so many card packs. I love this. Revenant, Bone Heap, Grave Digger, 49er, Ga Gamblobot. <laughs> okay, I'm getting more cards. I like this. This is fun. This is fun. But yeah, I've, I've entered uh, the, the crypt and I've been told it's a, a challenge of wits. I need to finish the epitaphs here and figure out who died, how they died, what what's going on, and I'm having fun. Right, let's see this. I found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, does not hold a grudge. Ooh, that one's a bit more vague. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look in these as well then. I found a piece of an epitaph in the casket, among other things. It reads, hit by a falling piece of ice. Ooh, that's going to be the third one then. So let's stick that in here. Hit by a falling piece of ice. I'm, I'm guessing the pirate died of scurvy. There were too many fruit references for it not to be. I found a card pack among the giblets and scantlings. Lovely. Banshee. Tomb robber. Bonehound, Gamblobot again, Hover Mage. I'm getting so many cards. Oh, I bet this is so fun to figure out like ways to combine the decks in interesting ways. Hmm. I'm gonna go down here. Oh, yep. Piece of an epitaph brought down by Scurvy. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I knew it. I knew it'd be Scurvy. That was too many fruits. <laughs> right, and what's in here? A gust of foul-smelling air billows from the casket. This is like the... 
What was on the wall in the, the cabin? You have no offering? I need an offering. Okay. Okay, let's go this way. Whoa! Oh! Wait, look all the... the, the <laughs> I think this is the same as, like, the characters in the first act. The... The, the ones around the campfire and like the little minis that it, that were randomly chosen at the table. Wait, this is great. Found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, there was no cure. That's probably the scurvy, maybe? I would guess. Hmm. Right, let's go over here. Hold on, before I, before I go there, I want to check my deck again. I want to add one of these cool cards. One of these rare ones. The bone heap seems like a lot of fun. If I can get one of those and like pump it full of bones and then it's just super powerful. Feels like it would be a lot of fun. Also, thank you for the hydrate! Let me have a sip of my drink. Replenish brain cells for optimal deck creation. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I remove one grave digger. And then I add the bone heap in its place. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Let's try this. Hello. <laughs> Did someone leave the AC on? <laughs> oh, come on, dude. It's freezing in here. That's, that might be because of the ice in your head. Sorry. Maybe a heated battle will help. <laughs> Alright, let's heat it up in here. Okay, there's Banshee. That's the, the direct strike. That's not great. And Draugr can, can't be sacrificed and releases the creature inside. I mean, I can just block this off. If I stick the Gravedigger here, then the Gravedigger's, like, safe. And won't get hit. Well, when I eventually do. Skeleton. Yeah, I want to put the Gravedigger here because then I just don't break the Draugr. It just blocks a column. And the Gravedigger will just keep bringing me bones. Right, this one is just going to hit me either way. That's okay. I'm going to do that. And I do that. That's my first turn. Right, you die now, you're gonna hit me, but it's okay, because we're still even. <laughs> I just say I'm drinking brains now. <laughs> no, I'm I'm drinking monster energy. I need caffeine to create brain cells. I'm not drinking brains. That I don't think that would taste very nice. I'm actually drinking monster ultra fiesto mango. Which I I think would taste considerably better than brains. <laughs> Have another cheeky sip, why not? Well, skeleton to destroy the banshee. And then that one is going to hit me again, but it's okay. I wanted the banshee gone. Gravedigger got me a bone. You're going to hit me. Yep. But you get destroyed. The other one's going to show up here. <laughs> it's just that the gravedigger tank the hit. There we go. Fine. I just need something good. Oh. Oh, the Revenant! Urgh. I do not like that Revenant coming out, because that's three attacks. So if I stick my Bonehound out, the Revenant's going to kill it. But I think I have to. Because otherwise I'm going to be hit for so much. I will at least do some damage before I go out. Oh, I can't even do it yet. Oh, this is bad, because I put the Skeleton out. The Skeleton is going to attack and then destroy itself. I think I have to sacrifice one of my grave diggers. This is a little sad. But if I want to survive, I must. I'll do that. I'll do that. I've got my seven bones. I can bring you out. To protect myself. <sighs> there we go. 
No, why'd you leap over there? No! No, you... Oh, silly, silly creature. Silly creature. Huh. Oh, well. Oh, well, that's blocked by that. Great, I'm, I'm really good at card games. <laughs> Well, I attacked with the overkill damage at least. Okay, that 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 could have gone that could have gone worse. That's okay. <laughs> oh, that did not go as planned. Live and learn. I'm I'm very smart. And I know exactly what I'm doing. I think I still win. Dig up some bones. Boop a doop. Dig up some bones. Yeah, well, that's going to attack that. Whatever. Boom. Grave digger digs up a bone. The skeleton collapses. Oh, and I will do three damage now. Oh, wait. Even better. I can do even more. Get rid of you. Stick a skeleton out just for one more overkill damage to get more foils. <laughs> so now I'll go two, three, four. So I get three foils. Yay! I got him. <laughs> Thank you for the head pat. <laughs> I did it. You won, but now I'm a bit less cold. Take a pack on the house. Health pack. Energy bot. When an energy bot is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. When Explode Bot dies, the creature opposing it, as well as adjacent friendly creatures, are dealt 10 damage. <laughs> and Mummy Lord, Dead Hand, and Bone Hound. Nice! You did beat me, so I guess I've got to fess up. The name's K Casey. Casey Hobbs. Wait, that was. That was one of the cards! That was one of the cards in the first. Um, one of the death cards in the first act. There was a Casey, because there was Casey, and there was, um... There was another name that sounded, like, kind of Russian. And there was Louis. Oh, I wonder if all the... Hmm. Hmm, much to think about. You're the tombstone on the left. Casey Hobbs, 1970 to winter 1992. This one is much, much later. These ones died ages ago. This one's a bit more recent. Ha ha ha. Right, well, Casey was hit by a falling piece of ice. Let's have a look in the well. I pulled up an epitaph piece. It reads, the defibrillator failed. Hmm. That doesn't feel like that really fits any of those. Hmm. Oh, oh hello! You wish to trade? It's the trader! I guess, like, there's different traders in each area for those types of cards. That's cool. That's cool. Right, I'm still missing information here. Hmm. The defibrillator failed. There was no cure. Does not hold a grudge. Hmm. Hmm. Let me talk to them again. Do not sniff or snarl. Okay. Far right tomb. Uh, life didn't give me lemons, so I died. <laughs> I guess maybe that would be the... There was no cure. That feels like it might fit. Ba -ba -ba. Let's talk to Casey again. Casey Hobbs, tombstone on the left. Brr. Hmm. I still feel like there isn't really enough information here. Hmm. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> oh my goodness. <gasps> oh! Oh, I could change my character. Does this change things in here? Or is it just the appearance? 
I were once the finest pirate on the seas. Look at me now, buried under the far-right tomb. They say when life gives you lemons, you make something of it. Life were not so kind to give me lemons, it left me buried under the tomb on the right. They say things slightly differently. So I wonder if there's more information depending on which random dialogue line I get. Oh, I didn't I didn't mean to go down there. Oopsie. Please do not bark or beg, the middle stone marks my grave. Yep. Yep, you're just saying the same things again now. Oh, there, Sawyer. Do not s sniff or snarl. Hmm. How about you? Brr, tombstone on the left. Is there a draft in here? It's freezing. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just that then. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna step outside. Oh no, it just goes back to the map. There isn't like an outsidey bit to explore. Right, well, I'm I'm gonna guess then. Hmm. Does not hold a grudge, I think, is going to be Casey. Because the dialogue was very much like, well, I guess you beat me. Um, it's it's fine. And Sawyer is still very clearly traumatized by dogs, so I don't think it's gonna be that. So I'm gonna put the defibrillator failed. And then I'll do this one as does not hold a grudge. I guess maybe that's not right. I can't do anything. Hmm. I'm gonna go back to Leshy. <laughs> oh! Dag nabbit, I can smell that meat on you. And I'm still missing that dang hound. Can't you put a little in her bowl? <gasps> ah. I got meat. I got meat for the bowl. Let's put it in. Oh, hello! Hi! Hello! Hey, look! The, don't worry! Your hound's right there! You hard to hear and get me some proof she's alright! But just walk over here. Just walk over here, buddy. Just. Just, just walk. Just take a couple steps. Over, over here. Just. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> no fish, no pass. I don't have any fish. How do I get fish? I want to get a fish. Can you just walk over there, buddy? You see, you know, my hound? Yep, just here. <laughs> okay. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Right, you know what? I'm tempted to just talk to Leshy. Let's just go say hi. Hello. I've heard you like to play games. I have cards. Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. <laughs> no. Behold me, I am Leshy, the scribe of beasts. We share a desire for you to challenge me, but first... I know what you're thinking. No, this is not my legendary camera, not the one I used to create beast cards. This one is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beast in these woods. Oh, there we go. I can take a photo for the prospector now. <laughs> my subordinates, the prospector, the angler, and the trapper. They each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they are all defeated. Okay. All right, let's go take a picture. Hi. Ta-dang! Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go battle the prospector. <laughs> Hi. Well, I'll be darned. That's my girl. I'll let you pass me and into yonder pond. But dag nab it first. We gotta battle. <laughs> Our eyes met. <laughs> we must battle. Hey, it's a squirrel! Oh, wait. The, the skeletons are kind of just like slightly better squirrels because they have attack. No, I guess because they die they're not that much better. Hmm. Well, the, the squirrels can't attack, so 
Boop. There we go. Hello. Bloodhound. Let's just kill that squirrel just because I can. And... Stick that there because I'm not going to place anything else just yet. Goodbye, squirrel. Hello, bloodhound. Hello, skeleton. Okay, yeah, if I place my grave digger, the bloodhound's going to pop over and attack it. Hmm. Oh, unless... No, wait. If I do that... Bloodhound leaps over. And then I'll just stick that over there. There we go. It, tank the hit with that. <laughs> That'll do nicely. Boop. Skeleton collapses into bones. Gravedigger digs up a bone. Got a skeleton there. And yeah, the Bloodhound's going to jump over again. But this one can attack directly. So what I want to do is... Oh, I only have three bones. Because I want to place this down so I can attack directly, but I don't want the Bloodhound to destroy it. So ideally I'd place the zombie as well. I guess I could do that by just destroying the skeleton. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, and then I can just smoosh that. Stick you there. There. Yeah, that works. Ha ha ha. Matt dies, but that is fine by me. Stick you there. Oh, that's going to block the, the airborne. Eh? Hey. Sneaky. Well, I think it should be. It depends on what card I draw next. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> oh, Bloodhound's going to hit me for two. Ow. Okay, not so great. I guess I need to take out the Bloodhound first because it does more damage. So you can go there. Yep, that, that'll do. Take a hit from that, that's okay. Oh, the wolf cub! Wolf cub's gonna grow up and because the grave digger's there, oh, that's not great. Hmm. I'll do two direct damage with that. I can only do one with this. Mm. Yeah, and then that one's going to hit me again. I think I am going to just stick this over here because it's going to die anyway, so I might as well do the direct damage. Boop, boop, boop. And I'm going to be hit for one, but it's okay. Because I'm getting more bones and hopefully I'll get something really good now or, or not. You're tanking. You tank. Oh no, I win. It's okay. I win. <laughs> no foils, no no overlap, but um, no overkill, but I still win. Fair's fair. You beat me like a dog. Take this. Some say these here cards are better in gold. Oh, beastly card back. Please be good. Please be good. Oh, I got a ghost ship. Oh. Oh, that ghost ship was really annoying. Part of me's tempted to stick that in my deck. No, I don't know if I'd... Mm. I don't know if I'd want to use it, actually. Right. Well, hello. The way to yonder pond is clear. Right, let's go get a fish. <laughs> fish for the angler. Oh. I don't know if that fish will be good enough. I feel like the angler is going to be like, that's bad. That's, that's, th those are terrible fish. Can I do something here? Oh, the bait. Yes, I will place the photo of the bait on the line. Come on. Oh, yeah. Got it. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. I think the angler will like that one. Nice. Nice. 
fish. Fresh fish. Good. Still. Must beat. No, I'm gonna beat you, I think. It's salmon! Great! It's one that dips under the water. These ones are so annoying. <laughs> Uh, all right, oh, well, I got two skeletons to begin with. That's pretty nice. I can do two damage immediately because I'm, I'm going to be taking two damage. Oh, and there's the bone heap. I'm going to save the bone heap for a bit until I have more bones. I guess we start with this. I'm, I'm going to hit for two and then I'm going to be hit for two so it'll even out, but then I'll have more bones for next time. Must have beat the fish. <laughs> Ow. And now you go underwater. Yep. Yep. I guess I've got to say, send out the zombie to tank the hit. I have to. There's gonna flip over and then come back and oh my goodness a raid wait hello oh my goodness louis hello welcome in oh my goodness i got a butler raid <laughs> hello welcome welcome on in thank you so much for the raid welcome hello raiders uh to anyone who's new here hello i'm liri i'm a pink haired cat girl from the uk and i love comfy games and I, I just realized i said i'm pink haired my hair is dyed <laughs> I dyed my hair for spooky season, so it's um it's not quite pink at the moment. But it will be when October's over. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for the raid! I love comfy games and puzzle games, and I'm currently playing Inscription, which is definitely puzzly. It's not very comfy. <laughs> but it's a uh, part of the game, one of the games I chose to play for spooky season, because every October I like to play some like horror adjacent games. Like, I'm no good at, like, jump scary type horror, but when it's, like, a creepy atmosphere and a good story, those are the kind of games I love. But, oh, thank you so much! Thank you for, thank you for recommending me as a raid target, and thank you for coming on over! I hope you had a good stream! How did it go? Hope you had a good time with, oh, Castlevania! Oh, heck yes. <laughs> I hope you had a, a good time with the stream, and thank you for the follow, too. I really appreciate it. Please check out Louis. The the maids uh, maids of England, also butlers, uh, are a, a maid cafe set in the UK, and they've they've got a VTuber branch as well. And I've I've I have, I'm very fond of them. I think they're pretty great. <laughs> so thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. Uh, if you have to head off, I do understand because it is it's late on a Sunday. But if you want to stick around for a bit, I am. Um, trying my best to play card games um questionably <laughs> i don't know sometimes it's going well sometimes it's not so great but uh, i'm i love this game this game is incredible but oh i'm so glad you had a wonderful stream thank you so much i really do appreciate the raid i'm glad you had a good time hopefully i'll be able to return the favor at some point depending on stream times <laughs> but thank you but yes, I'm I'm currently playing Inscription. I've been playing this for the past um, for all month. I've been playing this all month, and I've just reached Act Two in the game. So if anyone doesn't know this game and wants to play it, there will be spoilers. I recommend looking away. But this game is incredible. It's so clever. It's so fun, and I did not expect this Act Two at all. But I'm 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 so invested. I I want to figure this out. <laughs> But it's, uh, I'm, I'm not usually a fan of card games. I'm not very good at like strategizing and thinking ahead. So I was always like, well, I'm, I'm bad at card games. I don't think I'd like card games. But then I started playing this and I was like, maybe, maybe I do like card games. And then I started playing Slay the Spire. And I think I do like card games. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I started Slay the Spire literally last night, and I've, I've already got like six hours gameplay on it. <laughs> just, it's really fun. It's so fun. I didn't think I'd be playing card games, but here I am. Anyway, the only thing I can really do here is have my little zombie tank the hit from the salmon, so... hope I, I really want a gravedigger. I want to draw a gravedigger next turn, please. Please. Okay, there's the salmon. You're gonna... Yep, goodbye. That's not a grave digger. 
No, this is bad. This isn't great. Oh, same. It's like the only card game you play. Oh, yeah. Slay the Spire is um, a game that my brother is obsessed with. Uh, he's... Hold on. I, give me a sec. I want to check his his hours played on it because I want to... <laughs> I want to call him out. Uh, yeah, my brother Xander has 512 hours <laughs> logged in Slay the Spire. <laughs> he likes it a lot. He's... He's a big fan. He, he likes that game a lot. But I didn't think that I would enjoy it. I thought it would be the kind of game that I'd get stressed out by. But it's it's really nice to just pick it up and do a run. Like, I, I think I'm going to be playing it more. But yes, thank you for doing the Xander the Zander command. The, the, the Xander command. Uh, I, I always want to make a, a pun with Xander and command, but it, it, it doesn't really work. Well, it rhymes. I guess that's close enough. Right, I'm. This is a really bad situation. I don't. I'm gonna have to put my bone heap down just to tank the hit, but it feels so bad. I'm not gonna be able to do anything good with it. You just played a card with an activated ability. Yes, I'm not gonna be able to activate the ability. I'm in pain. Marvelous. Allow me to explain how it works. I can guess. I read the effect, I press the button, it spends the thing and activates it. Activate it by pressing the sigil like it's a button. Yes. But it will only work if you can pay the cost, which I cannot. Yeah, that's... I, I, it's just tanking. I, I've just put it there to tank. I'm... This is... I wanted to power it up. This is bad. I need more, like, low-cost cards in my deck, I think. I, I got very unlucky here. Alright, I just... Oh, and there's another one. No. This is not looking good for me. Okay, I do have a grave digger now, but this... Another one's going to come down and hit me for two. This is just really bad. This is just incredibly bad. Just very bad. The... It's just bad. is very bad. I don't know how I can come back from this. No, I think I just lose here. There's nothing I can do. There is nothing at all that I can do here. I'm just going to lose. This is so sad. <laughs> Goodbye. The angler got me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, wait, I've still got one. <laughs> no, no, this is even worse. Because now there's like one more turn, but I still can't do anything. It's just prolonging the pain. I just, just, just let me lose. Just let me lose. I just lose, please. Just finish, finish it off, please. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank for fish, but no pass until beat. Okay, I... Okay, so there don't seem to be any like super bad consequences for losing. Okay, I thought I was gonna have to like start over or something. I'm I'm still traumatized from Act One. <laughs> so I guess I can just try again. I need things to counter the under the water. Let's see what I got. See what cards I have. Alright, I need more of like the the low cost little and often kind of ones, I think. Just little things to keep tanking the hits. I think Oh my goodness, wait! Another raid. Rat suit, one dance. Rat suit, one dance. Rat suit, one dance. Rat and cat raid. Rat suit, one dance. Rat suit, one dance. Rat suit, one dance. Oh, the text is speech. Oh, the text is speech. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Hello. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in, rat and cat raid. Hello. Is that Marigato and Ratskare, two of my my favorite rat and cats? Welcome, welcome. How's it going? How was the stream? How did the... You were doing uh, observation duty, right? I think. I might be wrong. I hope I'm not wrong. Welcome on in. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome to um, me making mistakes in inscription. <laughs> welcome. Welcome on in. Super fun. Cleared two levels. Oh, glad to hear it. Gonna raid and run because you don't want to get spoiled. Oh, no. Yes, absolutely. Do not let yourself get spoiled for this game. It is so good. It is so much fun. 
I'm having such a blast with it. Yeah, please look away. Do not, do not perceive anything. <laughs> it's really, really good. But thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. I, I'm glad you had a good time. I'm glad you managed to observe things. But yes, for anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a not so pink haired cat girl from the UK. I usually have pink hair, but I, I dyed it for spooky season. I am Draculary at the moment. I, I even dyed my tail <laughs> with great difficulty. But thank you. I'm glad you like it. It's the, the seasonal palette swap. I, I pull it out every, every October. But I really appreciate the raid. I hope you rest well. Thank you for bringing it this way. And welcome on in raiders. If you want to stick around, I am, um, I'm currently losing at card games, but I'm going to win. I am going to win. It's going to happen. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. But yeah, I'm, I've been playing this all month so far. I, I just finished Act 1 last week, and I've just started Act 2 this week. I'm about like an hour and a half in, and um, I'm already super invested. <laughs> it's so fun. It's, I love this. I love it so much. It's, I did not expect any of this. But yes, please look away now if you do if you want to avoid spoilers because I will now start to talk about the game. But thank you, I really, really appreciate the raid. Welcome on in. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna do my best. But yes, welcome in everybody. Um, I've I've been doing a few things. I've discovered some skeletons and tried to figure out their like cause of death. I I think I've got it wrong because the way is not opening. But uh, I've beat the Prospector. I've got a really cool photo of a really big fish. And then the Angler kicked my butt. And now I need to rework my card deck to figure out how the heck I can win that. Because that didn't work. I think I need less of like the, the high cost cards. I need like lots of just like the little and often type ones. I need lots, lots of skeletons. I need skeletons and zombies because they're like low cost, easy to get. Maybe another grave digger. Yeah, let's let's try this. Try with this. Because I ended up just with like the really high cost ones that I could not bring out. And I need them to to tank the hit and stuff. Oh, thank you for the Oh my goodness, wait, Uwuktionary. <laughs> thank you for the Uwuktionary narration redeem. Right, let's see the letter E. Let's see what we got. Let me open my dictionary. <clears throat> Hello! Hi! Thank you for the evolutionary narration, Redeem. The word we have... Ooh! Wait, this is cool. This is a cool word. The word is... Evans? 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. It's E-V-I-N-C-E. -E. It's a formal verb. And it means to reveal the presence of. For example, his letters evince the excitement he felt. The origin is the Latin e Evansir, which means overcome. I guess it's Evans. I guess it's Evans. That's a cool word, though. I have never heard that word before. It's a cool one. <laughs> Thank you for the dictionary, Redeem. <laughs> Clearly the perfect time for Redeem. Hi, everybody. Um, it's not a voice filter. It's just my voice. <laughs> oh, you've used that word. That's cool. I've, I've never heard it before. I've never encountered it. I always like when I get a dictionary narration redeem and it's a word I've never heard of before. Or a word that I have heard of, but I've never seen it like used in a sentence. It always makes it more interesting, but hello! <laughs> right, let me, I'm gonna try again now that I've got like lower cost cards. No pass until beat. So now I beat. Now I beat. I just need things that I can just tank the hits of these salmons with. Right, I'm actually going to start by just smooshing a skeleton. Getting a grave digger out here to tank the hit from the salmon. That's what I'm doing. And then skeleton here. To do one damage. And then next round I'll have two bones so I can bring the zombie out too. I just need to do damage before the other salmon comes out. I just need to be fast. I need to tank the hits of the salmon and then hit in other places. That's, that's all I need to do. Right, we start with one. Grave digger digs up a bone. Grave digger tanks the hit. Thank you very much. 
very appreciated. I bring out zombie to tank the hit from this one. You'll do one damage and then you will get killed by the salmon, but that's okay. And the skeleton will also just do one damage. I think this can work. I think this strategy can work. Wait, I heard that wrong thought. I said smooching a skeleton. I mean, it depends on the skeleton. <laughs> but no, I'm not smooching these skeletons. They, they look terrifying. <laughs> skeleton collapses into a pile of bones. Grave digger digs up a bone. Salmon's gonna smack my zombie. But it means it's not hitting me directly. Another grave digger just to tank the hit from the salmon. I just need damage dealers. Just give me damage dealers, please. At least, yeah, grave digger's gonna tank this one as well. I just need a damage dealer. You're a damage dealer and you can tank the hit from that salmon. We're good. We're okay, for now. Got more bones? You die, you die, but I'm not taking the, the damage. I just need something that can attack. I don't, but at least you can tank, I guess. Please, I just need something that can attack. Please. Something. Anything. Just something that can attack. Okay, okay, this is the one. Another card with an activated ability? I know, no, I know. You don't have to tell me. Okay, boom. Bone heap grows stronger. Bone heap grows stronger. Boom, boom, stick all the bones in it. And now I'll hit for four and I'm gonna get some foils. Nice, I won. <laughs> that worked. That worked, that was the approach, little and often. I don't want the big hitters for that one. I just want little bits. You beat. You pass. First take. And I get a card pack. Yay! <laughs> I did it. Loads of blood ones here. Oh, wait, it's the cat. And a mole man. And an adder. The walkers. When the walkers dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Ooh. So it costs four, but then you get four back when, when they die. Ooh, I guess because it's a whole family, oh boy. <laughs> and sentry drone, ooh. Nice. Isn't the cat card so nice? It is, but I, I, I never like want to use it. It's like, even though I can sacrifice the cat for it to not perish, I still don't ever want to, because like I'll, I'll just i've got squirrels like i don't need to although i mean like in my last run in act one i ended up just sacrificing myself most of the time <laughs> but yay new cards i want the walkers in my deck actually i think i don't know what i'll replace i think i might actually replace the bone hound because like the seven bone cost is really really high I'd rather have something different like the walkers. I, th I think that's fun. I want to try having them in my deck. All right, over the bridge. What's over here? <gasps> There's a bunny. Oh, you're going to go in the trap. I need to trap the bunny, don't I? I'm going to have to get trap the bunny. Depending on where I stand is where the bunny's gonna go, I guess. You're just going between those two at the moment. If I do that, go over there, okay. Like if I stand here, it's gonna be these two. Hmm, I wonder if there's stuff I can place. Oh, let's have a look in here first. Patches of dried blood crackled as he pried the chest open, but two packs, whoa! I got two packs. Adder, Mole Man, Bloodhound, Drone, Ghost Ship again. And another pack. Cat, Mantis God, A. Hey. Warren. Walker's Ghost Ship, okay. Hmm. 
I'm pretty sure I know what I'm gonna have to do, and it, it involves this trap, probably. Oh, hey! Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. I got this. There we go. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> but I got a pelt. Hey! Wonderful. Great. I'm, I'm so happy. So happy. Good times. <laughs> Ah, good times. Also, Jelly D, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Pete, hello. Have this game in Switch, not played it. Oh, if you want to play it and you're going to play it, please don't watch me right now. It's it's such a good game, but you need to go into it like not knowing much about it. It's, it's a really cool experience. But yes, it is a card game, but it has other elements to it as well. <laughs> but hello, thank you for stopping in. I... It's so funny. Usually, like, I feel like it's the opposite of what a streamer wants to be like, hey, actually, don't watch my stream. <laughs> but sometimes there's games where it's just like, if, if you do want to play it yourself, I fully, fully recommend finding out, like, as little as possible before you play it. Because it makes it such an interesting experience. It's so good. But welcome, welcome. Right, hello. I... I got you, I got you something. You have brought a pelt, I am pleased. Yet another turn of the skinning knife. And it's time to set another trap. Whoa, hello! I smell the hare's blood on you. Here we go. I'm ready to fight. It keep the tab going and luck. Yes, I hope you have a good luck. Thank you so much. But it's I it's a really good game. I I cannot recommend it highly enough. It's so good. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a burrowing trap. Oh goodness. Um Well, I got skeletons, so that's good at least. Right, I'm going to start by just this one's going to attack, so let's let's put you here. To tank. And that will be my first turn. Boop. Alright. <sighs> so yeah, the burrowing trap will receive the strike. Also, when burrowing trap perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. A pelt is created in your hand. And there's a coyote. Coyote only has one health. So I'm, I'm going to do a sacrificial grave digger for now. Because once the coyote's here, I can use the zombie to kill it. But I need it to be on the field first. But uh, my skeleton's going to die and I am going to take damage from the bullfrog. There's not much I can do about that. Oh, I guess there is if I just destroy the skeleton and stick the grave digger there as well. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Why not? Let's give that a try. My lovely tanks. <laughs> okay. Maybe, well, the skeleton perishes after attacking anyway. Maybe I sacrifice the skeleton to the trap. Oh, I should have put the skeleton in this row because then it would jump over and block the coyote. Eh, I think it's okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take two damage from this one, but I think I think I'm all right with that. Do that. Bone bone. Okay, yeah, I took I took two. But now I can kill both of these. And this will still tank the hit from the bullfrog for now. So it's it's not ideal, but if I draw a good card next, I can make it work. I can make it work. 
Because the trap's going to, like, head over and eat my zombie when the zombie tries to attack. That's okay. Maybe, maybe I attack the trap. No, I think I want to attack the frog. Uh, yeah, that's going to jump over to the zombie. And the coyote's going to attack me for two again. This is not looking good. Yep. Oh, but my zombie's not dead. Oh, I just lose, though. Yeah. Oops. Come closer. You'll make a fine part. No, thank you. Uh, yeah, that didn't quite work. Let me, let me have a look. I'm glad that... Um, there doesn't seem to be too much of a penalty for losing. I can't wait to find out later on that there's going to be like a super penalty and it's keeping track of how many times I lose. But uh, <laughs> but I do like at the moment how it's it seems to be okay if I keep trying. I kind of want to try with the same deck. I feel like I got unlucky with the card draws. I set the trap, but only the prey decides when it snaps shut. I want to try again. Yep. Okay. Got skeletons, got that frog. The frog is annoying. <laughs> right, I'm gonna smash one of the skeletons. I'm I'm having my tank grave digger again. <laughs> Just to block the bullfrog for now. But yeah. yeah. Not great. Yeah, that's going to hit me and damage me. Oh, I can power this up, though. With, like, one bone. Oh, actually, you know what I am going to do? I don't know if this is going to be silly or not. But I'm going to try it. Boom. Boom. There, you'll kill the bull bullfrog. I do realize the trap is here. That's the dangerous part. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying that just to get rid of it. There, that's only one damage. That's trapped for now. That's, oh, it's going to jump over. I don't have any bones. So that's not great, because that's going to jump over when this attacks. So this is going to come down and attack too. Yeah, no, this is just really bad. This is just extremely bad. I need I need to try a different deck, I think. Or like a, a different deck makeup at the very least. I got no bones. There's like nothing I can do with no bones. I shouldn't have put them all in that. Yeah, whatever I do here, I'm pretty sure I just lose, but Okay, let's fight to the very end. <laughs> yeah, this is not good. <laughs> no, I just lose. Yep. Because this one's going to attack now. This comes down. That attacks. Yeah, I lose. Okay, let me, let me have a look at the cards I have. You're not cut out for trapping. You're better as prey. Look, I know I'm not doing well. It's okay. See, it's like I've got loads of cards here which are like blood cards, but I have nothing that would like give blood. I don't think I don't have like any squirrels or anything. I feel like I'd need like the starter deck that gives squirrels to get blood in the first place because all of these need blood to bring them out, which I don't have because I got a bunch of skeletons. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I feel like these... I've been seeing the fuel cells as the, the battle's gone on. I wonder if I can include some of these. And, like, this is just, like, power that you get over time as the, the battle goes on. Anyway, I don't think the bone heap is worth it. I'm taking that out. But I'm tempted to stick one of these in just to see if I can use it. <laughs> I don't know which one, though. I could do like the gambling one. The explodey one. Explodey one could be funny. <laughs> nah, maybe. Mm. 
Hmm. Let's go for this one because it at least does some damage. I'm just sticking it in the deck. Let's see if I can use it. I, I might not even be able to use it. But it's worth a try. Can't wait for the game afterwards to just be like, wow, you were, you did really badly against the trapper, huh? Oh, well, I start with three skeletons this time, which is much nicer than before. Because it means I can do like this, do a bunch of direct damage. And still get my grave digger out to tank as well. Maybe this is a better start. But yeah, look, there's like the, the fuel in the top. Oh, I guess there's different gems too. Like for the magic deck, I guess there's different gems. That's interesting. Skeleton collapses. Skeleton collapses. Grave digger digs up a bone. Good old tank. Another tank. <laughs> All right. They're tanking well. Oh yeah, I, I think I can. I think I can just play this. Wait, what happens if I attack this? Oh, it's only when the trap perishes that the other creature perishes. So if I just hit it once and then I move over here, I'll block the coyote. That's good to know that I can do this. That's interesting. Okay. Card synergy between sets. Also, Slipknot Guy, hello! I'm doing well, thank you. I'm, I'm failing at card games, but I'm going to win. Eventually, I believe. 49er moves to a new space. They did a great tanking job. I'm proud of them. Oh, this is not good. This really is not good. Now's the part where I start taking loads of damage. Because there's nothing I can do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take three damage directly. I do have lots of bones. I just need more cards I can play. Oh, this is bad. Ooh. No, I'm gonna lose again. I'm gonna lose again. This is no good. Skeleton collapses into a pile of bones. I don't think I can win this. Oh, I guess maybe stick that there to tank. I'm no, I'm. I don't. Oh, this is really bad. This is so bad. This is so bad. Also, that is a lot of text. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm focusing on the game at the moment, so I can't. <laughs> I can't read really long walls of text. The um the the streams like house flipper and stuff at the time for like generally chatting mostly. But uh, I hope you've had a good weekend either way. I need to tank. I need to. Oh no, that's gonna hit directly. No. Yeah, this is the end. This is where I lose again. Yeah, I need. To, I need to revisit this deck. I'm not beating the trapper like this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have a little break. I'm gonna go back down to the... the area with the, uh... over here with Grimora. I wanna figure this out, because I think I've probably gotten this wrong somewhere. It's like, these, these don't feel like they fit. The, the deaths. They, they feel like they're for like different bodies. None of these feel like they, they match. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back up to the mirror room and see if I can change things. Right, cause there's so many in here. I wonder if I do that. Hello. Bum, bum, bum. No, that's the that's the same as before. Hmm. Cause I was down here. The, you want you want a sacrifice? You have no offering. What is the offering? I need an offering. What would make a good offering? I mean, I've I've got I've got rare cards. Can I give cards? I'm gonna keep looking around. Maybe there's something I missed somewhere. What can I provide as an offering? Is there anything in here? I mean, 
this, this is you for trading. I wish to trade. None of this feels like it would be useful for an offering, I wonder. Oh my goodness. Oh, and another raid! Oh my goodness, Georgie, hello! Welcome, welcome, thank you for the raid! How's it going? Welcome on in, welcome. <laughs> welcome, camp out in the, in the stream. How's it going? I hope you had a good stream. I hope the, oh, Digimon. I hope the Digimon went well. Welcome! Welcome to Inscription. I'm playing this game for the first time. I've, I don't, I didn't know anything about it going into it, apart from the fact that it was a card game and that it was a little bit twisted. I am so in love with this game. It is so good. But welcome. Oh, I'm, I'm glad. I am Draculary at the moment. I'm, I, I dyed my hair for the, the festive season and my tail. My tail is also dyed. <laughs> But thank you for the raid! For anyone who's new here, hello! I'm Liri. I'm a not-so-pink-haired cat girl from the UK. I usually have pink hair. It is dyed at the moment. But I like comfy games and puzzle games, and this is very much a puzzle game. It's not comfy. <laughs> but I'm having an amazing time with it. I love this game. But thank you for bringing the raid this way! I very much appreciate it. Is it dyed for Halloween? It is. I am, I'm, I've got my hair dyed for October. As soon as it becomes November 1st, I'm washing the dye out again. I'm going back to pink. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's been fun. It's been fun being dracula for October. And I've been playing some really, really creepy games as well. It's been so much fun. But thank you for the raid. It went really well. Plot was really serious for the first half, so you wound down with some training. Oh, yes. Good to... Good to get the balance between too much. But thank you for bringing the raid this way. If you have to go rest after your stream, that is completely fine. Go look after yourself. I know it's getting pretty late, but if you do want to stick around, I'm um, I'm failing at card games. But I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna win eventually. I'm sure. Oh, I need to figure this out somehow. There's got to be something I'm missing. I'm gonna go back up here. I'm just gonna play around with the mirror a bit. Boop a boop, boop a boop, boop a boop. So many people. Wait, I'm, I'm a skeleton now. Hold on. I'm gonna be a skeleton. Hi. No, you're still saying the exact same thing. All right. I don't know what kind of offering you want. Hello? I have no offering. What do you want as an offering? I guess I've got to go find an offering. Oh, I wonder if the offering's gonna be like a, a, a picture of Leshy or something and I have to do this before I can do the second area. Hmm. Hello. Having a good time. There we go. I, th I think I need to beat the trapper. I'm just very bad. Right, let, let me have a look at what I have. See if I can do some more like synergizing. <laughs> right, I don't have the cost for any of these things. Oh, I guess I've got this emerald mox, which provides a green gem. So if I brought this in, I'd be able to start using these. I don't know if that'd be worth it, like mixing it in with the skeletons. Hmm. Hmm. I'll pay one bone to create a skeleton in, in your hand. That actually could be really useful. In fights where I'm just like not drawing anything. <laughs> Hmm. Let's try this. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to try again. Like, if, if at first you don't succeed, keep going. Keep trying the same thing again. It will surely work eventually. Snip, snip. 
Oh, so no, guy, don't worry about it. It's just, um, uh, I do have in the rules, like, if I'm playing, like, an intensive or story-heavy game to try and keep chat on topic as much as possible. But, uh, it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm not mad or anything. I just wanted to let you know, so... <laughs> so you don't think I'm just ignoring you for no reason. It's because, like, when I'm playing games, like, especially puzzle games that involve a lot of thought, it gets harder to do it if there's, like, five different conversations going on in chat at the same time. It's the only reason for it. I'm, I'm not mad or anything, don't worry. <laughs> so d don't, don't feel bad about it. I hope you don't feel bad. Right, okay, I start off with two skeletons. That's not too bad. Skeleton. Skeleton. It will kill one of them. To get this out to tank, let's let's try try like this. Da -da -da. Creature has been released inside. Let's have another one here to tank. And oh, if I put the zombie out, the zombie's going to attack. The trap's gonna jump over, but. Oh, I can't bring it out anyway. I don't have enough. That's fine. Bloop. Bloop. Oh, and thank you for the hydrate redeem as well. Hello, Lucas. Welcome. Thank you for the, the monster energy. Let me get the, the, the energy brain cells back. <laughs> oh, welcome, welcome. I need, I need all the brain cells I can at the moment. I'm... I feel like this is the kind of situation where it's probably really easy to win this fight if you don't have the deck that I have right now. <laughs> but I'm stubborn, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, well I can put you there. That'll kill this bullfrog. And then zombie will go here. That's gonna jump over and it's gonna block the coyote from coming down. I think. This one will still attack, but that's only one. I can take that. Oop. Trap goes over there, yep. Hit that for one. Yeah, I'm gonna take one from that, but that's okay. And now this is blocking the coyote. <laughs> so that's kind of great. And then I'll just kill the bullfrog as well and give me a little bit of breathing room to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> of course, another bullfrog's coming. If I place a skeleton down, the trap's gonna jump. So I'm actually not going to do anything here. I'm gonna hold it for a turn. And see how this goes. But yeah, that's that's exactly it though. It's like don't don't be afraid to just like have a little chat for like about like just general things going on. It's just like if there's like a lot of text all in one go about like a different topic that's it's hard to, it's hard to focus on when i'm trying to win a card game but yeah don't don't feel bad about just chatting i like chatting with people it's the reason why i stream like if i if i didn't want to like talk to people while i play games i would just make youtube videos i wouldn't do it live <laughs> but i really like streaming it's fun also brushy hello welcome 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 on in. Welcome to. Um, I'm. I'm not doing great, but I'm. I'm getting there somehow. I can make it through. Yeah, this zombie's just gonna turn into a pelt soon. But it's okay. Oh, there's the raven. Oh, actually, I want to block the raven. Stick the skeleton here, so then the trap's gonna jump over get the skeleton maybe it might be that the zombie dies the zombie might get eaten instead hmm let's get more bones <laughs> just stick them all out i don't know how this is gonna go let's see also um that that is not really an appropriate comment. Thank you very much. Please don't make weird comments about jiggling. <laughs> That's This is not that kind of place. Please do not. But hello. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how this is going to go. Okay, the, the snap. The, the trap snapped shut. Oh, these two are just going to attack directly now. This is bad. I should have placed this over here. I just lost. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't good. 
That wasn't good. Let me try again. I'm... I, I really probably should not just keep going with the same deck, but I feel like I can do it. I feel like I can do it if I'm not just, like, really unlucky. I've just been extremely unlucky so far, but I think I can make it work. I believe. I believe. <laughs> okay, skeleton inside. Oh, I got the Banshee. That's the direct hits. That's actually really good. That's actually really good if I can get this out. Right, you can tank. You tank over there. You tank the thing. And then next turn, if I can get this out, I'm set. I'm so set. Okay. Skeleton can kill that bullfrog. Direct it. Oh, the bullfrog's gonna kill it in the next turn. But I'll do one damage at least. This isn't... Um, no, I, I just... I messed it up. It's okay. It's okay. Goodbye. 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 I messed it up. Oopsie. I'll tell you what. What if I just tank? <laughs> tank! Tank strats! Block the coyote with the trap. Boom. <laughs> this isn't working at all. This really is not working. <laughs> maybe I can just wait and make the trap a run out of cards. Eventually, maybe. No, this really is not working. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah, oh, reminds you of the chatter that was referencing... Jujutsu Kaisen? Well, that that was like, that's not really an appropriate comment either. <laughs> Even if it's like, um, not meant maliciously, there's still sometimes comments where it's just like, you probably shouldn't say that in a random, unrelated stream. Especially because I don't, I've never watched Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, I, I once, my friends like to laugh at the fact that I once said the infamous quote of, is that Gojo from Demon Slayer? That that should tell you everything you need to know about my my knowledge of recent shonen anime. I'm I don't know anything. <laughs> I didn't realize until they burst out laughing, and I was just like, oh, oh, that's the wrong one, isn't it? I'm 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 a very smart person, <laughs> but I'm I I'm really behind on like recent anime. It's like ask me about anime. It's all like stuff from years ago. <laughs> You gotta remember that now. It's, it's okay. This is what I'm known for. It's just like, whenever someone thinks that I'm younger than I am, I'm just like, oh, thank you so much. Just wait until I open my mouth and then you'll realize I'm I'm actually an old lady. <laughs> <sighs> this isn't going great. This isn't going great. Yeah, I'm just about to die again. Yeah, there we go. Goodbye. That did not work. I need to I need to adjust my deck. I need to figure out something I can do to make things work. To make things work somehow. Also, that is also another really long comment. I think it is like more on on topic and stuff, but <laughs> But I'm I'm focusing on cards at the moment. The walls of text kind of like make my eyes glaze over a little bit. I'm very sorry. It's I don't want anyone to think I'm ignoring them and stuff. But when a comment is super long, I find it difficult to take in the whole thing. And there's always the worry as well of like, what well, if there's something accidentally spoilery in it? But uh, I I'm I'm gonna figure this out. I got this. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, a little bag CT. Yeah, I'm. I, when it's like a a long thing that's like talking about like, I, I I see like a thing about like the mechanics of the game. I'm like, I don't I don't want to know mechanics. I don't want to know anything. I'm going into it completely blind. I don't want to know. I need to figure out what I can do. I, I this deck is not working for me at the moment. 
But I don't know how I can make it work. I... <laughs> I don't have anything that I can use for like squirrels or anything. I mean, I guess, hold on, I'm gonna try something. Oh, I can't buy from you anymore because it's battle mode. Ah, oh, I was gonna try and see if I could like buy a squirrel from this guy, but I can't because it's battle time. Oh, well, I got the, the tomb robber thing now. I guess that's pretty decent. Just pay a bone to create a skeleton. That feels like it could be incredibly useful. Maybe I can make it work this time. <laughs> Tank. Skeleton to do a damage. One damage to start with. There we go. The first round is already always okay. And then after that, it's very... It depends on how, how things go. Oh, but then if I play this here, the trap's gonna jump over and block the coyote. So we do that. We do that. They both go. I only take one damage, so that's okay. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place that to tank. I will place this away from everything else. And I'm gonna get three skeletons <laughs> with all my bones. I got skeletons. I got skeletons. <laughs> Please, something. <laughs> Boom. Boom. They go, but I, I blocked one of them again. Oh no, and then that's gonna hit the two. Not so nice. Uh, boom. Boom. This is a direct hit one, and it's in the, the line of the trap, so this could be really good. This could be really, really good. Because now I do the direct damage in this lane. Oh, that one's just going to come down, but... Hmm. Because as soon as I play one that's going to attack, this is going to hop over. So that's not so great. Ah. Hmm. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try anyway. There. Yep, that blocks that. That blocks that. I got a pelt now. It's gonna attack me for two and take that one out. Yep, it's not good. I mean, I kill you. I'll hit you for one damage and you'll only do one hit against me. I'll do another one damage uh, and then the, the raven's gonna come out and I'm gonna die again, but I'm at least holding my ground a little bit more this time. Yeah, there's the raven. This is when the problems start. Because I can't tank the raven's hits because of the airborne. Ha. Ah. The skeletons. All I can do at the moment is I will I'll do two direct damage here. So I will at least counter the two that this is going to do to me. <laughs> That's all I can do right now. I'm just... I'm going full skeleton approach. You hit me for two. But then I will, I'll get loads of skeletons back and also hit for two. I think I can make this work. I might be able to make this work. Evenly matched for now. I, I think I can make it work. I can make it work. So long as another one doesn't come down, I, I've made, I, this works. I've got it. This works. This strategy works. We're fully evenly matched, but my skeleton will eventually kill this raven. And then I win. <laughs> This is the silliest, cheesy way to win. But I think it's winning. I'm gonna win. There, there, there. Raven's gonna die. Direct damage. And I will just get more skeletons. I just get more skeletons. Oh, this one won't even die. I can just have that one. 
and then two skeletons. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> it's, it's 10 plus on either side. <laughs> the power of my, my skeleton army. They get knocked down, but they get up again. They're never going to keep them down. <laughs> but also, Ag Agninirith, hello! More spoofish cards time. It is indeed. I love it. I love this game. I'm. D this is just my infinite skeleton army. What I'm actually going to do here as well is I'm just going to end the turn to do one damage so I can get as much like overkill as possible. So now I get two overkill, so I get two foils. Yay! I did it! Oh, I could have gotten one more if I got rid of that and put a skeleton there too, but... I did it! I did it! Strategy! The power of my unlimited skeleton army! <laughs> the trap is shut, yet the prey escapes. And the trapper waits for the next victim. You've defeated the three of us now. Leshy awaits. Beastly card pack. Boom, boom, boom. I'm getting so many cards and I haven't gotten like a single squirrel. So I... Okay, yes, now we're back to the trader. Nice. Nice. Turn the mask around. <laughs> but I did it. That was, that was fun. That was a fun way to win that. <gasps> Do I buy a squirrel? So I can start using blood cards. I feel like it could be quite fun. I think I want to. I want a squirrel. I, I wonder if I buy a pack. Oh, but I'm really tempted by the Ouroboros as well, but I only have one squirrel. That might not be worth it. Ah. Squirrel ball. Hey, uh, it moves and drops a squirrel in the old place. So this is just like multiple squirrels. This is just like sacrifice a squirrel to get a ball of squirrels. And then you just keep getting them. Or, or I could get the cat. Oh. oh, am I going to do like a blood and bones deck? That sounds really cool, actually. <laughs> I kind of want to do it just because it sounds cool to just be like, oh, yeah, I've got a, a blood and bones deck. I'm getting the cat. Let's get another squirrel, too. I'm going to try and make a, a blood and bones deck. I've decided. <laughs> Right, so let's remove a few of the skeletons. Remove a few grave diggers, maybe one of those. Uh, that tomb robber was great. I want to keep that. But now I'll put in a couple of squirrels. I have a squirrel ball. We'll have a cat. Oh, I already had cat. I, I, <laughs> I'm silly. And then mantis god. I remember the mantis god from last time and I like it. Oh, wait. Or oh, maybe all oh, the warren. Because the warren has the, the rabbits, and I, I bet the rabbits can also be sacrificed pretty well. Or, or do I do a raven? Oh, the raven feels like it could be good. Oh, the, the hawk. The hawk is just more damage. Let's have a hawk. Right, this could be really terrible. This could not work out at all. But it also could just end up being really, really great. So I'm going to try it. I... I've got him still this little skeleton person now. <laughs> right, let's talk to Leshy. Hi. You have bested the unhinged prospector, the gormless angler, the enigmatic trapper. You found yourself standing before your ultimate match, Leshy, scribe of beasts. Steal yourself, for my beasts will show you no mercy, only fangs. Oop. Do not spare your creatures. My camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise. Are you going to cheat and take my cards? I feel like he is. I feel like he is. And my beasts are famished. Oh. Okay, we start with a coyote and a stoat. Of course it's the stoat. I, well, I start with a squirrel. I could have a, a squirrel tanking to start with. Alright, I'm going to start with a squirrel tank to get some blood, and then skeleton here to just kill the coyote. What is... Oh, I have to... Because it's a boss, I have to do it multiple times, I guess. I see. Boop. Goodbye, skeleton. Oh, I'll need a photo of that one's cost. What was that? One moment before that one dies. 
And these capture its stats. Oh, well, you're making a terrible card. You, you just got the stats of the squirrel. If, if you're making cards from, like, my creatures that die, that, that's not going to work out great for you there. Okay. Hmm. Right, the, this adder's gonna come down. It's only gonna do one damage though, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the Grave Digger here to tank against the Stoat. And then I'm gonna bring the Skeleton out just to do direct damage. Just like that. The music is so cool too. <laughs> It's so wild how it's like, it's the same game, but it's so different now that it's like a, like a 2D adventure game. Uh, heads or tails? Uh, tails. I pick tails. Tails never fails. Well, sometimes it does. And finally the sigils. Oh, <laughs> that will do. The deaths of your creatures will form a beautiful mosaic. Um, okay. I don't even know what that sigil did. I think it's just like, it dies. <laughs> I don't know, that's probably not a great sigil for it to have. All right, anyway, let's take out this adder. And yeah, my grave digger can keep tanking for a second, so it should be okay. Boop, boop, boop. There's that elk fawn. Oh, a little baby, oh. Mantis God. Oh, I didn't get any blood though from the, the squirrel dying. I guess, oh, because he took a photo. Maybe, I don't know. Well, I can bring this out and just do some direct damage. So let's, let's do that. Direct hit, I'm winning. Oh, it's the mole. Moles are annoying. What? I'm, I'm gonna kill the elk fawn. I will take a damage from that. That's okay. Oop. Skeleton collapses. One damage. <gasps> Tomb robber! I can create the skeleton army again, although I don't know if there's gonna be a phase change. Hmm. Right, I have no blood, so I can't play this. Oh, I guess. Oh, I can sacrifice the things on here. Can I sacrifice skeletons? Hold on a second. I want to see if this works. Can I sacrifice a skeleton even though they don't have blood? Oh, I can. <gasps> oh, nice. That's very nice. Okay, that should do enough. No, not quite enough. That's okay, I can make this work. One more skeleton, this should work, I think. More blocks one, but then I still do two. Yep, there we go. Got it, got it once, there we go. Thank you for the head pat. You won't be needing those. I have something better. Oh no! For me? No! <laughs> you must like them. The, the stitch work is my own. They are your cards. Why have you done this to me? Now we put them to the test. My beasts enjoy a varied diet. You bud, how dare he? How dare he? I can't believe he did this. <laughs> wow, this is the worst possible card. <laughs> Amazing. That's, that's, oh. Oh, so mad at this guy. How dare he? And there's a grizzly coming now. It's just great. It's wonderful. Thanks. Although at least I can get skeletons back from my, my tomb robber. Right, let's just go for that. Bup, 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 bup. Mole man keeps jumping to take the hits. My mantis god dies because of this grizzly. It's wonderful. It's great. 
Although it says after attacking, it can't attack. So I guess you can be a good tank at least. <laughs> Got it as a tank. There we go. All right, you're blocking that hit, then you die. Yeah, they, these are just tanks. These are my tank cards now. Because the skeletons can't really tank, because as soon as they attack, they die. But these ones can't attack, so I literally just got, like, free tank cards now. I'll take that. That could have been much worse. <laughs> and this grizzly's just going to keep hitting them, and then I can just have the ones over here doing all the hard work. Yeah, this is fine. Just keep going like this for a bit. This is completely fine. There we go. Oh, another grizzly. Okay. I knew it was too good to be true. Oh no, but I win. No, so it's fine. There we go. I just win. <laughs> I got him! The great scribe was incredibly bested. What a great time for a raid, just as I'm like actually winning a fight. <laughs> Hello, welcome in. Hi, Raiders. Hello, Suzume. Thank you for the, the Sapphic Sunday raid. I won the coin flip. Oh, I'm so proud. <laughs> Tails never fails, baby. But welcome on in. Welcome in, Raiders. To anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a not-so-pink-haired cat girl from the UK. And I just beat Leshy in Act 2 of Inscription. And I'm feeling proud of myself. Even with the absolute garbage cards he tried to give me. I still made it work somehow. It went well. Also, Magrio, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I hope you have a good time here. Thank you for following. Yes, I hope you had fun with the little goody two shoes too. I'm I'm having so much fun with inscription. This game is I'm I love it. I like my infinite skeleton army. That's my favorite approach now is just many skeletons. <laughs> But yes, thank you. Thank you for the raid. I very much appreciate it. Also, I'd like to ask to just like a little thing. Like it's not a super big deal or anything. But uh, please refrain from making comments about like the cards that I get in chat. Because if I get a card and then like you explain the card in chat, that is kind of backseaty. So please try and avoid that wherever possible. Because if you mention something that I haven't noticed, then that like has taken a thing away from me. It's just for like safety's sake. But I just wanted to mention. But anyway, I beat Leshy. I'm so proud. <laughs> Far away, a light enveloped a long forgotten monument. Ooh. Oh, they're going to light up when I beat them. Nice. I got him. Completed the Temple of Beasts. You had triumphed. Narrowly avoiding tooth and claw, the scribe of beasts was defeated. That you were able to defeat me beggars belief, but now I must yield to you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous ascent. What, like doing it over and over again for infinity? Yeah, you would like that, wouldn't you? That would be what you want, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> but I got a beastly card back. Oh, the annoying salmon. Oh, orange mage and a blue mage. Interesting. And another beastly pack. Field mice? Wait, that's cute. They're cute. Another mall blue mage. Bolt hound. I guess they all have dogs of some form. Wait, oh, oh, stop. Battery low. Stop. What is that? What is what? Hello? Hi! I had to see your face after you lost. You're just so... bad. <laughs> An expression. Hello. Hello, my lovely obnoxious stoat. I'd, I'd recognize you anywhere. <laughs> How many foils monies I got? I've Not many. I spent some of my foils on squirrels. <laughs> but I've been getting quite a few. Anyway, hello. Hello, P.O. Box. It's no wonder we're back here again. And we would have been even sooner if the disc wasn't lost. 
take a long look at this face because you'll never see it again. Hey, there's the stoat face. There it is, just in case you couldn't pick it up. I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast. Bye-bye. Oh, that was nice. I pushed it too far that last time. Why don't they see? To live as a beast would be the noblest thing. Even so lowly a creature as a stoat. You literally, I, I'm pretty sure you made him a stoat, and then you're saying they're lowly creatures. That's kind of funny. The scribe of beasts was defeated. You were indeed. Haha, <laughs> I saw something like here. I'm, I was curious. Well, never mind. There it was again! What was it? It was like a, a little, little creature. Cute little creature. I want to see the creature again. Hello? I want to see the creature. Hi? Ah! Hello! Oh, cute. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I guess... Whoop. Oh, I moved so fast. Well, this bridge has been built now. But I want to check out this now that this is shining. Hello? No, I guess it's just shining now. I did that! Yeah, ha ha ha! Right, I want to go back to the mirror. I don't want to be the little skeleton anymore. <laughs> I will be... Bloop. Yeah, I'll be you. Da -da -da -da. Oh, actually, I have an idea. I wonder if these would relate to, like, each of the dead characters somehow. And maybe if they're, like, confronted with themselves, they'll say more. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, look at you! Hi! Very cute. I don't know. None of them really look like a pirate, so maybe not. I don't want to be the redhead again. Come on. Come on! There we go. Okay, this is me now. I still don't know what this sacrifice is. ba 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 bum You want... I have no offering. You want an offering. I don't know what offering you want. Should I go steal the meat out of the dog bowl again? Is meat an offering? Anyway, I want to go over here now. Now this is open. Oh, do I go up or down though? Up. Whoa, hi. Are these all cards? No, are they floppy disks? Oh. What's going on in here? Hello. Challenge me. Let's see your deck. Weak cards. Total lack of synergy. This pile really doesn't stand a chance against me. Look, I'm trying to finish up my conduit control list here, but the bots they're sending down the line are trash. Get those workers to send me something good. Tell them to throw themselves on the line if necessary. And please have a decent deck by the time you're done. Okay. Well, whatever I, whatever deck I have, you're gonna say it's rubbish anyway. So whatever. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Ooh. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. I 
feel like I need another card for this. This is interesting. Bum 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 bum. What's over here? Zero one one zero. Oh, just. Okay, that goes one two. And then putting that on there is gonna make it like. Oh, it adds. Oh, I see how this works. I see how this works. So I'm adding one from either side, so the ones become threes. So like... This is a plus one and a plus one for everything between them. So they were they were both ones, but I've added both the plus ones, they're now both threes. I get this. I get this. This is cool. This is cool. Okay. Okay. Let's check this one again. That and that will add it to a one. Got him. Nice. That's the top. Oh, I can go over here now. Anything else around? I don't think so. I received a techno card pack. Oop. Curve Hopper. Gamblobot again. Bolt Hound. Stim Mage and Mage Pupil. Ah. Interesting. Also, yeah, the, the stoat said, like, oh, terrible play with whatever I did, whether it was good or bad. Like, he, he just refused to admit that I could do things better than him. Which is why I gotta beat him. <laughs> Practice wizard, mage pupil. Meat bot! Whoa, meat bot is counted as three blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. That's horrific. That's horrible. Wow. Plasma Jimmy. Pay one energy to deal one damage to the creature across from Plasma Jimmy. Whoa, so I could just like pump Jimmy full of energy to just take something out. Whoa. And Leapbot. Nice. Right, I guess I'm just going in with my current deck. I guess. Um. I don't even remember what's in it. Let's go. What is it? What do you want? Can't you see that I'm very, 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 very... I'm very busy here. What? PO3 isn't happy with my output, but I am merely the inspector. To put better bots on the line, I would need to... Just who are you to be carrying orders from PO3? I'm, I'm just really cool. PO3 would only trust someone with some semblance of card game skill. I am very busy, but I must know if you are qualified to give me orders. Let us play a children's card game. Well, it's, this this isn't a children's card game, never mind. <laughs> Alright, the inspector, let's... Let's see, ooh. Oh wait, circuit bots, oh. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Other creatures within a circuit completed by buff conduit gain one power. I need them to just not complete circuits, and it's fine. Null conduit may complete a circuit, but provides no effect. Right, so I guess I can just, like... Like, they're not going to attack immediately. Hold on, can I just... Boom. One, two, three, four. I'm going to do four damage in the first turn. If I had one more bone, I'd be able to do five. <laughs> yeah, let's just do that. That's a pretty decent start. Bring them down. Okay. You only do one. Haha. -ha. And now you're going to get destroyed. And you're also going to get destroyed. And I'm going to win. Easy. Oh, 
wait, no, I didn't do the direct damage? Huh, I thought I would have done that. Well, that's fine. I win now. There we go. Boom. Hey! And I got a bunch of foils for it, too. <laughs> Inspector, I barely know her. Oh dear, your message from P03 must indeed be genuine. As I mentioned, I am a mere inspector, not an engineer, not a designer. I cannot send new bots down the line, but I, I can send myself. I am proud to have served P03 faithfully. Well met, stranger. All goodbye. Uh, bye. It was, it was fun playing games with you. Um, have a have a good time. Uh, anyway, uh, hmm. Let's head up here. More, more puzzles. Two out of four. Oh, the minus one. If I do that and a plus one, that'll even it out. And that makes it four. Yes. Hee <laughs> Got him. Now we'll go to here. Four out of five. Whoa! Wait, what does that do? Break the connection, maybe? Two, one, one. Alright, well, I'm taking, like, plus zero. No, we'll do, uh... Plus one? Minus one. No, that's that's still four. I do that there. Right, two and three, that's a five. And then I could just break connection. One. S shove it on the end. Got him. Hee <laughs> hee. I like I love these puzzles. This is great. This is so fun. Oh, <laughs> kinda miss teeth being the currency you earn from overkill. I I much prefer the foils, I've got to say. <laughs> Although, it would be so interesting if I could end up, um, like, just throwing rare cards onto the scales to, to win we a We throw fight. ourselves onto the line to help better the company and for P03. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why my text-to-speech voice changed. Oh, it's so bizarre. It's... Truly the scariest thing from the holiday season. Thank you for the text to speech. Right, I guess it's your turn. Are you the designer? Let me out. Ha, ha, ha. That was let me out, wasn't it? <laughs> what was that? We are. I am the melter. They send me raw materials and I, well, you can see how it works. Let me out. Not another word out of you. We must have a card battle. <laughs> well, this is incredibly disturbing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Also, Grace Snow, thank you for stopping in. I hope you rest well. I hope you have a good sleep. Thank you for joining. This is incredibly disturbing. Who is in there? I gotta free them. We must have a card battle. We must do. Thank you for the head fat too. We must. Whoa. The card's got like the corner of it taken off. Hmm. Right, well we got a, a little circuit starting immediately here. So empty spaces within a circuit. Completed by it. We'll spawn leap bots at the end of the owner's turn. We need to get rid of this thing. We gotta get rid of that. We gotta get rid of that. It's gonna be leap bots everywhere. I I despise this. This is bad. All right. I want a mantis. Mantis god right here. And you will go there to tank. Right. This one's gonna hit directly, but it sh it should only be a one. I think. It's just gonna be like one power. I think. Let's see. Three direct damage, I'll take that. 
Uh, constructs leap bots in the charged spaces. Great. Love it. Time to get rid of them. Alright, so if I stick a skeleton there, this is going to attack all three of these. Skeleton will finish that one off. This one will still be alive, but... Yeah, the, it's, I'm going to lose my Mantis God. But then... Oh, no, I need bones. No, and I can't summon this one. Ah. Uh, it's, go, it's just going to summon more. This is bad. This is bad. It's okay. I've at least taken one of them out. Ouch. Yeah, this isn't great. It's not great. I need to get rid of this one at the end. I need to stop the circuit from being made. And then I guess tank the hit. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a damage, but that's all I can really do. Also, thank you for the hydrate and foster check. I will have a sip of my monster. And I shall sit up straight. Ugh, have a big stretch. Oh, I needed that stretch actually. My arms are ooh. Big stretch. My arms are so stiff. <laughs> Oh, my shoulders are really stiff, too. Um, how have I been sitting? My posture's so bad. It's... Th when I get invested in a video game, I always end up, like, leaning into my monitor. Like... It's like I'm not even shrimping. I'm just, like... Uh, being pulled into the screen. <laughs> oh, but I never notice. Right, this isn't great. But it could be worse. Look, yeah, these have no power now because I took out the circuit. So we're okay. I don't have enough bones, but I'll, I'm going to do a direct damage with that. So, boom. Oh, and then I just do one more direct damage and I win. And I don't have to worry. I'm not getting foils, but I don't care. I just want to get that done. I did it. Excellent battle. Now, with that aside, what did you come to tell me? PO3 wishes for better bots for his scanner. That is difficult. You see, I melt the metal, but I cannot reprogram the stamping machine. Oh, <laughs> oh god. There is a way to send at least one new bot down the line. Yep. Get yourself on there, buddy. Get on the get on the line. No 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 no! Ha <laughs> ha yes! For PO3! Bye! Oh no, I feel so sorry for whoever's like stuck in there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. Um, okay. Okay. Okay, we're on minus five out of three. If I do that, and that, we got... I'm on two. What if I put it there? One out of three. Hmm. Right, if I put this here... And put this here... Three out of three. Two out of three. Okay. Let's put that there. Put that there. Still two out of three. Three out of three. No, because then that's going to go down. Yeah, two out of three. Hmm. I put it like there. Two out of three again. Two out of three. Do I have to use all of them? Four out of three. Like, if I go five out of three. Four out of three. Zero out of three. Two out of three. Two out of three. Two out of three. Four out of three. Five out of three. Four out of three. Right, let me let me look at this. I need it to make three. So many minuses here. Oh, if I 
that just adds a one. So if I can then just make this two. And then block that out. There, three out of three. Oh, but I need to place all of them. Oh, painful. There. Okay, there. No, we're fine. <laughs> three out of three. Got him. One more. Is that like a hatch in the ground? Am I going to fall into the basement or something? Okay, I need five. Ooh. My instinct is to just cover the minus three immediately. Minus one, and then I get zero and plus one. Yeah, that works! Nice! I like when it works immediately. <laughs> yeah, I think I just have to... Yep, goodbye. Down I go. Oh, this is fine. This looks like a l l lovely, lovely place. Oh, I, I zooped myself back up. Oops. Good to know I'm not trapped here, at least. And I guess... I guess I'm talking to you. Oh, no, I have to... Oh, no, I, I stepped in it again. I'm just having so much fun going up and down at the moment. Don't mind me. So I think I go down here. Hello! Oi, mate, I know what you're here for. You're asking me to take a dive. But I can't accommodate you, mate. Got a special orders in it, looking to dredge something special. We can duel, I Maybe even give you something if you win. But I can't be taking a dive. PO3 will understand. Oh, no, you've got water. Water robots? No, I don't want this. Okay, there's literally nothing to start with. This is kind of terrifying. Let's start by just getting a, a cat out. Why not? I have a little cat. Now I've got a bone. I can get some grave, my grave digger out. Start getting more bones. I don't know what's going to happen. Know what, mate? Can't take me eyes off me work here. I'll give you this one. Oh. Oh, I just won? Okay. Here, take your pack. Okay. He just didn't want to fight. All right. I'm, I mean, I would also be intimidated by me playing card games with um, how flawlessly I've won every single battle so far. I mean, <laughs> if you don't look too carefully. But uh, okay. Thank you. Got a card pack. Explode bot. Mrs. Bomb. When Mrs. Bomb is played, fill all empty spaces with explode. Wait, that's incredible. <laughs> that's ridiculous. I love that. And the steam bot. Got an elk and an adder. Nice. And now off with the I need a concentrate. Oh, is that? po 3s gonna reward me big for this one. What'd you get? Whoa! What? Hello? What is that? Hello? What is going on? What is that? Hi? Oh my goodness, Black Cube, hello Rusty Lake. Huh? This is like this is like all of the characters. This is like all of the the people I saw in that mirror room, all of the characters. Oh, that's that's a glitch cube. That is a glitch cube. Oh boy. Um well I'm gonna Oh, I got more cards! Gonna get more cards. I got steel mice, curve hopper, factory conduit. Oh, Adder and Frankenstein. And another card pack with Steambot, Mrs. Bomb, Meatbot, Frankenstein, and Elkhorn. I'm getting so many cards now. God, that is that is so terrifying. That is so unnerving. <laughs> cube. Thank you for the cube. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm going back. I kind of want to wait for it to come up here. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I kind of want to follow it around. Not going to lie, I'm, I'm very curious. What happens when it gets melted? Still... 
still going. Whoa, that is... I want this. Can I pick this up off the line? I want to take this. I want this. I want it. Give it to me. Let me just, like, steal it. <laughs> Let me steal it off the line. Wow, this is wild. I want to follow it all the way along now. This is going to take so long, but I want to. I want to see it. I'm going to wait. Come on. Come on. Where are you? This music's so unnerving as well. There it is. There it is. Oh, it's... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. It's like, like a, a tablet or something. That's wild. Whoa. Whoa, I want to see this go through here. PO3 is going to be so amazed. Not even going to talk yet. I just want to see it come through. Because I haven't actually been this way. I didn't actually go to the left. I don't, I don't know what's going to be down here. It's waiting. I just want to see it. Hello. Hi. It's just like scanning things. I want to see what it scans as. Give it a scan. Give it a scan. I'm sure the scan's going to be very normal. Give it a scan. Whoop. Oh, it's you. It's the trader. If I wanted to spend my foils. What happens when it falls off the edge? I want to see. I want to see. I'm waiting for it. I'm, I'm, I'm invested in the journey of this strange... Whatever it is. Hello. Alright, down you go. It's gone. It's gone. Right. Buddy, you're gonna love this gonna love this P.O. Box. I got a treat for you. I've got a, a great news for you. <laughs> it goes into the abyss. Yes. The abyss is sated for now. Maybe the abyss will not be happy with that though. Anyway, let's go. The bots haven't gotten much better, but you battled all of my workers and you actually won. He's like a little pouty face. It's so funny. He doesn't believe me. Give me that deck again. Just because you couldn't make it work, don't doubt me. Are you forgetting who played the card game to free you in the first place, buddy? Wow. You beat them with that. All right. <laughs> Maybe there are some synergies that I missed. Let's go then. This might just go really badly, to be honest. My deck isn't- Oh no, what are you doing? You see those conveyor belts, just like my factory. At the very least, they ought to test your lane positioning. No, I'm mad. Don't do that. No, I... Ugh. Does that mean he's gonna take my cards? Wait, does that mean I'm gonna take his cards? Huh. How the heck is this gonna work? Uh, mm. I literally have nothing I can play to start with, so that's a great start. It's a wonderful start. Best start. See how that works. Okay, your turn. Okay. I literally can't do anything. This is the worst start I could have possibly gotten. I can't do anything. <laughs> this is really bad. This is so bad. <laughs> Where does the glitch cube go? That's right, it goes in the square hole. <laughs> I can't do anything, I'm just gonna get hit. But then I, I get a meat bot, I guess. Um, yeah, I just lost immediately because I couldn't play anything. 
You opened the crates around the temple, right? You need better cards. Shut up. That didn't work well. I think, like, the problem as well is, like, I put the squirrel and the squirrel ball in because I thought I needed them for blood. I didn't realize I could just sacrifice the skeletons because I'm a silly, silly bean. So I want to put some more skeletons back in my deck. More skeletons. Oh, do I do a bone heap as well? Let's, let's have another grave digger. Let's try this. See if this goes any better. The old dredger wouldn't hop on the line. Do not worry, that is acceptable. Another battle? Yes. Let's make it work this time. You go first. Hmm. You know what I'm actually going to do to start with? I'm just going to stick my skeletons out. They're just going to die immediately. So that's not a problem. And, but I will do two damage, so I'll negate the two damage that I take from here. And then I just want to wait for these cars to come around. I don't want to give him anything. I just want to wait until his cards reach me, and then I take his cards. I passed. It's your turn. That's the explode bot! Yeah, when the explode bot dies... Oh wait! The adjacent... When it dies, the creature opposing it and the adjacent friendly creatures are dealt 10 damage. If I can kill that with a skeleton, that works really well for me. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little grave digger. I'm going to put you here. And you are mine. And you will be mine for four turns. But I can't really do anything else. Oh, I guess I could put this down as well. Yeah, you know what? I'll do that. Go for that. God of Bone, you're going to attack me for two. That's okay, though. I can live with that. Now this, I could, I could sacrifice this. Hmm. But no, I guess this will just tank the hit from here. I don't have anything I need to sacrifice at the moment, so... Well, that's going to explode, but then it's going to kill the friendly one next to it as well. So it's it's just a skeleton. I don't mind that. Yeah, the, the creature opposing it, yeah, the deal 10 damage to the skeleton that's about to die anyway. I'm fine with that. You can do that. Why not? Yeah, it's still not great, but there we go. Uh, explode bot detonates. Adjacent creatures are killed in the blast. Boop. Boop. Oh, not the one behind it, though. That's a shame. Grave digger digs up a bone. All right. Did a little bit of damage here, but it's okay. Grave digger will tank the next one. And I could just kill the meat bot. Oh, this is mine now as well. <laughs> So boom. You're just gonna tank the hit from here, that's fine. Let's just take the meat bot out. I'll do one damage, that's, that's fine. Boop. Alright. Bring that around. This will tank the hit from the melter as well. Automaton is about to come down. Uh. I think what I do here is I'm going to place this and it is time for my skeleton army to return. Yeah, Gravedigger is just going to tank the hit from this automaton and then they're going to move around so it's I think this is fine. There we go. Tank the hit from there, that's fine. Oh, more explode bots. Oh, that's not so great. The explode bots aren't super great. God, this song makes me feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> this song is so uncomfortable. But I feel like that makes sense. Also, thank you for the hydrate. Hello, Autumn. Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna have a sip of my monster. Thank you very much. What happens if someone slaps you at high frequency? Um, they die. Um, I don't know if that's like the, the build up for a joke or whatever, but no. <laughs> Nobody slaps me and gets away with it. <laughs> it hurts! 
I thought it might have been a joke. <laughs> Wait, that's a great joke, though. Oh, I need to remember that one. Oh, that's so good. No, please stay. Please stay. I love that. <laughs> Hi. Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome to... Um... Well, this is going to be mine soon. Which is very nice. I think I just start getting loads of skeletons. Like, the, the skeletons are such a great approach for something like this. Because I can still keep doing damage, keep doing stuff, without worrying about giving them to him. So yeah, if I do that, boom, that reveals whatever is inside it. It's just a meat bot. That's fine, that's gonna be mine this turn. That only- that attacks me for two- okay, that's gonna explode now. So what I'm- <laughs> Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is- I don't know if there's a maximum hand size in this. I'm gonna get a bunch of skeletons, like, preemptively, just in case. That should be fine. This should be enough. This should be enough skeletons, maybe. Oh wait, but if I kill this explode bot, it's gonna kill the explode bot next to it. Oh no, I think my tomb robber is gonna die if I do that. But you know what? That's a price I'm willing to pay. I'm also just gonna like destroy the meat bot. I don't want that. I wanna just do direct damage with the skeletons. I think this should be okay. I think this might be all right. Let's see. Boom, boom. Explode. You explode, you explode. Okay, we're even now. We're even. I'm gonna be taking two damage there. But that's okay, because now I'm just gonna, um, boom. 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 Oh, I should have, like, kept it in the last one, because then I'd get it in the next turn. But, uh, yeah, I'm... I'm quite happy with this. Boop, 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 boop. Do a bunch of damage. It's okay. It's only a little bit. I can take that. And... Yeah, the automaton's gonna come through, but... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place you there. This music is so unnerving! And I place you there. And I'm gonna get this next turn. <laughs> so, boom. We're even again. Gravedigger tanks the hit there. I'm gonna get the Bolt Hound. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is pretty good. Pretty decent. Um, I hope you enjoy getting bones, PO3. Yeah, that'll just do three damage and I'll kill that. So, yeah. Don't mind if I do. I, I figured this out. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. I got it. I win. One, two, three, four. Yep. And I should get two overkill as well. So, that's nice. Okay, but now it's like the next round. There's two parts. Oh, scanners online. Which card to scan? Just kidding. Obviously, the one with the best stats. Yep, yeah, okay. The stat line could be better. I should have sacrificed it. <laughs> Stuck a skeleton out instead. Oh, now you got- Whoa, that's cheating. Your move. That's- that's kind of messed up. Oh wait, no, I've got two of them. <laughs> I got two, you got two, this is fine. I've got so many bones. Yeah, this is not a problem, actually. They're gonna, like, take each other out. I'm so okay with this. Let's have the skeleton there to just... Go for that. Oh, I will take damage from that one, but that's fine. Yeah, I, don't, I think this is gonna be okay. Do that, do that, do that, do that. All right. I take two damage, but that's okay because you're gonna die now. And I have a mantis god. So I think I'm actually gonna put the mantis god here. I'll still have it for one turn. 
yeah, I think that's pretty good. Boom, 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 boom. Don't mind if I do, and they're still on my side. <laughs> still on my side for one turn. Um, that'll do one, two, three, four. Yep, that's enough to win. Thank you very much. Got him. Nice luck you had. Yes, it was just luck and not strategy. I guess playing a perfect game is no match for good RNG. No, that was skill. You shut up. Sometimes it has been RNG. I will fully say it was RNG against the Trapper. <laughs> but that was skill. That was skill. And I will not hear otherwise. I'm proud of that one. Woohoo! Two down, two to go! Complete the Temple of Technology. I guess you won. Your ambition is to become the Scribe of the Dead. That naive spinster you ought to reconsider. Oh, is the Scribe of Technology so much cooler then? Yeah, he's so salty. He can't believe that he would lose. Like, <laughs> Shutterbug. When Shutterbug damages another creature, that creature perishes. Also, when a creature moves into the space opposing Shutterbug, they are dealt one damage. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty good one. Also, Double Gunner, which is like the, the regular Mantis from before. Null Conduit completes a circuit. Sarcophagus will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. That's going to turn into a mummy, isn't it? <laughs> It's gonna be like sarcophagus into mummy or or vampire or something. And salmon. And I get another pack. Factory conduit, Mrs. Bomb. I've got so many Mrs. Bomb cards now. Meatbot, salmon, Pharaoh's pets. Oh, it's the goats. It's the black goats. Pharaoh's pets is counted as three blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. Also, when Pharaoh's pets is sacrificed, it does not perish. Whoa. Whoa, those are some cracked goats. Okay. Oh, oh, no, my battery. No! No, my battery ran out. Oh, YouTube guy's battery ran out. Why don't you keep it charged? Dude, come on. Come on. Battery fully charged. Oh. Are these the same as before? No, these are errors. These are these are more videos. <gasps> we got more YouTuber videos. Here we go. I think I've just got to send it. To whom it may concern. It's a bit formal. No, I, I like to whom it may concern. Hello there! <laughs> Exclamation point. Hello there. My name is Luke Carter, and I'm a fan of your collectible card games. If you've ever taken a look at my YouTube videos, you will know how appreciative I am of the merch that you've sent me over the years. Ah. So it was a great surprise to learn that there is a digital version of Inscription. I think maybe one of my fans pranked Ooh. me and buried a copy in the woods near my house. Upon further research, however, I have not been able to find any record of this game. Mm -hmm. Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? That's a good email. Any trace of this game? Is mm -hmm. this some kind of elaborate hoax? The game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster. It at least appears professionally made. I am both puzzled and excited by this discovery. Any information you can provide would be much appreciated. Thank you, the lucky Carter. Okay, good enough. I like him like reacting to his own camera <laughs> for something that he's probably not gonna like make into anything. That's, that's me. When, I, when I'm, like, recording stuff for myself, I'll just be, like, pulling faces. <laughs> but yeah, this is part of the game. This is, this is also part of the game as well. It's so interesting. Right, hello! <clears throat> hey, card gamers! I'm the Lucky Carter, and this... Well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a question to my audience. As I've learned over the years, nobody knows card games better than you guys do. So I'm hoping someone can help me out here. Did anyone ever play an inscription video game or hear about it? I'm talking about that vintage one set card game I opened packs for last week. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. Um, I think I've got the only known copy of the digital version of Inscription. I've been uh, 
filming myself playing it, and uh, it's weird, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage, but can someone please prove me wrong? Please tell me someone has a copy of this game. I have been looking online for days, and I cannot find a word about it. That sounds like a you problem. I reached out to the publishers, hoping maybe <laughs> they would get back to me, but as a fallback, I got you beautiful viewers. Hopefully dig up something. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's the video today, guys. Uh, thank you so much, as always. And, um, oh yeah, uh, what the fuck is the car? Oh, 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 what, what is this? What is this? What is this? Hold on. What, can my phone scan this? Can my phone scan this? I need to see if my phone will scan this, otherwise I have to type it all out manually. <laughs> I need to know what this says. Scan text. I think I got it. Yes. That's the text I want to extract, please. Select all. Copy. I think it only got the first line of it. Hold on. <laughs> I want to see what this says. I need to see what this says. Binary converter. Ba -ba 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 -ba. From binary to text. I, I take my cookies. I don't care. View my browsing history of random Town of Salem videos. It's fine. It did not paste properly. I've, I've got to type this out. Hold on. I'm going to do it on my phone. I'm, I'm going to do it on my phone, so I'm afraid there's not going to be like the nice keyboard ASMR this time. <laughs> But uh, I I need to know what this says. I must know what this says. O one o o one o one one o one o o o o o one o one o one o o one o o one Oh, oh, one, 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 oh, oh, one. I'm, I'm going to lose track of where I am, I think. But it feels like the same as the one from before. Let me just, like, convert this first part of it. Is it going to be, like, the same as, like, the, the deep within one? Actually, can, can I ask a huge favor of someone in chat, like a, a mod or something? Can you find if there's been, like, someone's, like, transcribed this already and written it down? Yeah, if you have a paste of it, <laughs> I would very much appreciate that. Because like, I keep losing track of where it is. Like, the other one had spaces, like, between the different parts of it, which made it easier to pass. But this is just, like, my, my eyes are glazing over. Uh, preferably not already translated if it's just, like, the, the list of numbers. <laughs> So I can have my moment of pasting it in and being like, oh! <laughs> but if you can't find one, then just like what it says is fine. But I need to know. I must know what this says. There's so many O's and ones. I was hoping that my my phone would be able to scan it, but I think because of like the, the camera effect and the scan lines, it can't make it out properly. It, it, it made a mess. <laughs> I also love like the the way that this is blacked out makes it look like censorship bars. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Ba -ba -ba -ba. Dum dum dum, what does it say? It's not working. Binary to text. Wait, Carnoffle code? Carnoffle code. I have no idea what that is. I don't know who Carnoffle is. Huh. Carnoffle is a trick-taking card game which probably came from the upper German language area in Europe in the first quarter of the 15th century. Uh, it first appeared listed in a Municipal Ordinance of Nördlingen, Bavaria in 1426 among the games that could be lawfully played at the annual city fete. 
This makes the game the oldest identifiable European card game in the history of playing cards, with a continuous tradition of play down to the present day. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna watch some more videos. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's. Let's check out the third one. Mr. Carter, we have received your inquiry regarding a digital version of our intellectual property. Doesn't exist, right? I assure you that no yep. such software exists in any official form. However, if you have indeed come into possession of proprietary game Funa hardware, you are compelled to return it to us under the Computer Fraud and Abuse hmm. Act. The hardware will be considered stolen if it is not returned to us within a reasonable time frame. Please carefully package the hardware and paste the attached shipping label to the front of the box. You may mail the package at a local post office. We would like to avoid taking legal action. Whoa, in that's case, intense. So please do not delay returning the proprietary software. Sincerely, Game Funa Customer Happiness Department. Customer Happiness Department. That sounds so like. What the fuck? That sounds so ridiculously like dystopian what is that what the heck is that the happiness department i'm okay well he's gonna copy it before he sends it surely oh error Oops. that's painful hold on I want to see if there's anything in it, but I don't think there is. I think it's just pain. Yeah, that one's just pain, I think. Anyway, um, to the 16. I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. Oh. She came to my door yesterday and I didn't answer. This time I'm going to record it. Oh, that's a good plan, yes. Hi. Hey. I'm oh, oh. a copy desk for a game called Inscription. Oh. I was told you came by a copy of it somehow. Uh, Sound familiar? No. No? No, I don't know anything about that. Really? In inscription, you said? Yes. No, I don't think so. Really? Because, um, apparently you emailed us about it. You are, uh, <laughs> Luke Carter. Right? Yeah, couldn't couldn't oh. be him. You know the Lucky Carter Gmail account? Couldn't yeah, be him. Uh, you know what? That's uh, I am Luke Carter, but that's not my email address. Really? Because uh, I just noticed because I've seen your videos. Oh. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Oh. Hum. Thanks for watching. Listen, uh, how did you know where I live exactly? My boss gave me your address. And how did you get past the side gate? It's locked. <laughs> okay, Luke. Um, I'm going to give you my business card, and if you remember anything, anything at all, feel free to give me a call. Okay. This is Will so do. sketchy. Take care. Hmm. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what? I'm gonna go to where's the no. Okay. Hi! Hi there! Hey. I'm Redacted. Okay, I think I can type this one in. I, I believe in myself. Okay, you are 011 011 Oh one one oh one oh one one Oh goodness I lost where I am hold on <laughs> oh one oh one one oh one one oh one oh one one Okay oh 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 <laughs> one oh one one oh one 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 oh oh one one Oh, oh, one. 
Oh, 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 one, one. Oh, 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 one. What does that say? I don't think this is working properly. I need to, I need to find another translator. It just says the letter A. Hmm. Hold on a second. Put that in there. Binary to text. Amanda, it says. Hmm. So her name is Amanda. Why was Amanda redacted? Hmm. Mysterious. Interesting. Okay, right. Another error one. Prepare your ears. Oh, I hate that. All right, 17th. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today I'm opening Secrets of Legendaria. Hoping for that sweet, sweet foil Thalamir. I believe in you. I hope you get it. I can't wait for you to get like a stoat card or something in this completely unrelated card game. Oh, you can't seem to open it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh dear. Another arrow one. Oh. It's red this time. Okay. Whew. Right, back we go. Let's stop browsing footage. Bum, 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 bum. And I'm back to here. That was a nice little interlude, I guess. I guess that's because of like defeating two of the scribes, like the halfway point. Nice. Let's realize, why is he filming in front of a green screen? He's a, he's a YouTuber. It's, it's where he records his videos. He probably has like a really boring house. So he like, has like a, a fake background to make it look cooler. <laughs> Alright, well that that went well. Do I want to go back over here? I kind of want to check out down here, the mage one. This is like, I know the least about this at the moment. What's going on down here? Let's see. Whoa, this is cool. What is this? The note reads greetings. If you are reading this, it must be because you wish to challenge me, Magnificus, to a card battle. But in order to earn that privilege, you must first defeat my three graduate students. As for their whereabouts, that is for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnificus. Okay. A mystery, I'm here for that. Is this gonna be like an eyeglass that lets me see things? A strange monocle. You put it on. What can I see? Well, there's a chest here. Let me open that. The inside of the chest is covered in a sticky green goo, but you find a card pack. Oh, is that gonna be the goo from the jar in the first act? You receive a magical card pack. Oh, Master Orlu. Got a muscle mage, junior sage, explode bot. I got two explode bots in that pack. <laughs> nice. Have a look around. Oh, this door is shut. I guess I can't go in there. Let's, let's go to the right. Hey, it's the trader. Hi. You wish to trade? Whoa, this feels like it's confusing. This card set feels like it has a lot. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Ooh, hello. Collected cards? Wait, is this my card collection? Is this like all the cards I've collected so far? No, there's so many I still need. Oh no, I, I need to complete my collection. This is so bad. Oh, this is devastating. I need to find everything. <laughs> I gotta complete my collection. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty well for the bone collection, but there's still like quite a lot missing. Interesting. All right. I, I've 
I've got to find the... Find the... Oh, oh, this leads up to here. Let's have a look at that. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay, that's got a little skull. That's got, like, the wing one. That's got a little skull again. Okay, let's try that. Oh, 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 I see. I see everything with this eyeball of mine. Haha! -ha. Whoa, hi! Are you the goo from the jar? Ah! The pain is unbearable. My organs are melting. Do you see? Magnificus turned me into goo for my final exam. I just need to defeat one more challenger, then, then I will earn my rightful place. My rightful place in the deck of the master is one of his prized cards. Oh yeah, because he paints his disciples to make cards for the deck, huh? Oh, nothing will stop me. I'm sorry I'm gonna stop you. I'm, I'm sorry, I have to. It's nothing personal. It's nothing personal, I promise, but yeah. Right, okay, so the power of the green mage is equal to the number of green gems that the owner has on their side of the table. So this gives a green gem to the owner while it's on the board. But I guess what I have to do is I have to just destroy that and then these have no power. So they're gonna have power to begin with, unfortunately, but I can... They'll only have one power each, I think? This should be okay. I'll do a little bit to counteract it, and then I'm probably gonna take three damage. Yeah. Okay, that worked how I expected it to. Why is it all gravediggers? No. No, I've just got a body block. I just got a body block. I need something I can play with that does damage, please. Please. Ugh. Great. This is... Mm -mm. This is great. Love it. You know what? Put you down too. I don't care. She's got a bunch of bones. Not doing any damage at least, which is good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I can keep that here. I will... Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Stick you here. Get me a skeleton, please. Skeleton will kill that. And there's no gems on the table. <laughs> so like that. Boom, boom. No gems on the table. You have no power. So, yep. Now I get my skeletons out. I just need to keep this one blocked so that this gem can't get on the table and I'm fine. I'm... This is... I'm fine. Just buying time now. All right. Oh, hey, Mantis God, that'll do nicely. Yeah, let's have the, the, ma the Mantis God. Sacrifice you, get the Mantis God right here to get the three shots. And we'll get another skeleton. <laughs> yeah, this this works. Sorry, sorry, pile of goo. Um, it's, it's not your day. <laughs> yeah, this is this is working great. Let me do that and that, and then yep, that's three damage, and this one dies. One, two, three. Yep. And you'll come down here. I'll still do three damage with my skeleton, which will give me one overkill. Which is very nice. There we go. I won. God, I love these skeletons. I love my skeletons. <laughs> like when I can make the skeletons work well, like my infinite skeleton strat, it, it's beautiful. And it's so good because once I get to that point with the skeletons, when I have the thing out, the skeletons are self-sustaining because when they die they give me a bone and then I spend a bone to get the skeleton 
and then when they die they give me a bone it it just it just it just loops it's it, self-sustaining it's great no please please just tell the master i passed he won't know the difference he will here take this back i'm so sorry goo blina's marks provides a blue gem provides a green gem when ruby golem perishes a ruby mox is created oh the gems are so confusing i i don't think i'm going to be doing the the magic deck stuff be interesting to look into at some point but i'm 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 seeing all of the cards and i'm just like my eyes are fully glazing over like i, I don't know <laughs> here i could open the door for you oh thank you i'm sorry i'm still not gonna say you won though because you didn't oh it's like a little oh that's the door never mind <laughs> i was like wait there's a new little wall here what is this it's the door that just opened i'm very smart and clever thank you very much also, Gigi, hello, welcome. Ooh. I, I cannot take that. I did not expect to go up the stairs that way and come out this side. All right, let's open the chest. You find a card pack among a heap of sharp implements. Magical card pack. <laughs> Wait, I love that one. Just if a creature would attack Force Mage, it does not. <laughs> it simply does not. Enzo Master Orlu, Blue Mage, Raven Field Nice. Nice! Just like, if a card attacks this, it just doesn't. Right, I kind of want to go down here. I don't know what would happen if I do this. Oh, I just land back down here. Okay. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I don't, simply, I see a hole. I, I simply must fall down it. Right, let's see. The dummy stares lifelessly back at you. Then suddenly it springs into motion. <gasps> Hello. I'm fighting a training dummy. Okay. Oh, hey, it's that one. If a creature would attack, it does not. It simply doesn't. <gasps> Wait, this... Oh, hold on. This is like just target practice. They're not like doing anything. Hmm. Skeleton collapses. Whoa, hello! <gasps> this one's got a skull on it. Okay, we've got a skull. We got the pushy arm. <gasps> yes! We got a skull, we got a pushy arm, and now that this has been pushed out of the way, we can see what's on this one. Bum, 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 bum. And the wings. Okay, so skull, pushy arm, wings. So now I can win, I guess. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. I, I... <laughs> Alright, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh, I was gonna say if I could just get one more skeleton to do just a little bit more damage. Well, I guess I get one foil from that. Nice! The dummy's hinges creak back into position and it returns to its lifeless stare. Nice! Oh, I wonder if I could just keep, like, fighting that and, like, farm foils from it. <laughs> anyway, skull face. Pushy arm. Yeah, got him. Oh, hi. What the heck is with this Magnificus? What is he doing? What is he doing to anything? Like, what is he doing to his disciples here? What is this? Just imagine you're an ice cube slowly melting on a hot pan. Oh, I was only talking to myself. The pain of being a head impaled on a spear is... Well, it is worth it, of course. Magnificus will award me the highest honor. He is so messed up. What the heck? Never trust a wizard. Jeez. Wow. It's reminding me of, um... 
I've forgotten his name. The one in Baldur's Gate 3. The... Laroican? I think it's Laroican. Like Laroican, where, where Roland was just like, yeah, I'm going to be a disciple of you. And then he's just abused and beaten up. It's... Yeah, that's... Never trust a wizard. I will be the centerpiece of his deck. You are an impaled head on a spike being boiled in lava. Okay, so I guess this is like the ruby gems. Orange gems. Uh, if a mage knight's owner controls no mox cards, the knight perishes. Okay, so if I destroy the ruby mox, then the knight's gonna perish. Uh, when a ruby golem perishes, a ruby mox is created in its place. So maybe I just leave that alive for a bit. Um, if I can take this one out, this one's just gonna die. Mm hmm. All right. Well, I guess I uh, I need something to block what's happening here. The skeletons I can't block with, but I I guess I could put the tomb robber out. It can take the hit from like one of them. It can take one damage. I'll put you here. And then I'll just... Get the skeletons out, I guess. Okay, that'll do two direct damage. So then that'll like take the one damage from this and then one from that. Let's do that. Now I get a bone from you and a bone from you. Boop. And so now I I'll get another skeleton. And my skeleton can now destroy this ruby mox. So this one's just gonna die. <laughs> and then I don't actually want to kill that one just yet. Oh, actually, no, I will. It's gonna create a ruby one, so this one won't die immediately too. Hmm. No, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like this for now. I'm going to do one more direct damage just so that I've got a bit more leeway when they hit me. But I want to see what happens when I do that. Right, you don't have any mox cards anymore. You die. Fabulous. Those two will hit, but then these two will become the mox card when they die. So I wanted to get that one dead before I do this. Oh, there's a, there's a hawk now. I could summon the hawk and just do direct damage. Or I could summon the mantis god and just kill both of these. Mantis god. Mantis god goes here and kills both of these and does a direct damage. Oh, and then this is going to die, so I'm going to get my two skeletons out before it dies. There we go. Because <laughs> this is going to die. All right. Boop. Boop. And that comes down, kills that. What is that? Oh, orange mage. Uh, mox cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. Oh, so when this is on the board, the ruby moxes actually do damage. But that's okay, because my mantis is just going to destroy these two, so there's only one left. I oh know, my mantis will destroy all three of them. Skeleton will also destroy it. Stick that there, do another damage. Yeah, this is fine. I can fight against these. I like this. My skeleton's so good. I love my skeletons. My little friends, look at them. Look at them go. Right, yeah, I just, I'm gonna do three damage with that. So I just get I'll just do a bit more damage by doing that and that. Oh, and actually, even better. I'll do that. I'll sacrifice both of those. Get the raven out. Three, four, five, six, seven damage. <laughs> nice. That is some nice excess damage. <laughs> that worked so well. I love that. I love that. Hmm. Perhaps I will not be central to a strategy. No, it's... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sure you're great. You're going to make a really great card. I'm just built different. 
I care not. He can use me as a chump blocker. I have mastered disappointment. <laughs> Take this pack. Oh, these these poor, like, apprentices. They deserve so much better. They are being treated so badly. I got more cards. Thank you for the headbutt, too. Go. Okay, thank you. Up I go to the, the third one. Oh, oh, there's notes. The note reads, The top sigil is found by the greedy. Oh, that's me. I'm the greedy. What's in the chest? The chest is empty, save for a single card. <gasps> rabbit. I got a rabbit. Okay, so the... It says the top sigil is found by the greedy, so the top is going to be a rabbit? Oh no, there! You reach back in for more and notice a sigil where the card used to be. Okay, the top one is wing. Wing wing. The middle sigil is found by the pale. I mean, I am very pale. Whoa! Oh, hello. Am I stuck in here now? No, I'm not. Okay. Oh, I just go all the way around the edge. Is that going to be this one? Uh, the bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing. Or by those who hear too easily. I don't know. Anyway, the, I guess like the pale is going to be like in the cave of the darkness, never getting the sun, never, never turning. So we've got the wing, we have the skull, and then the bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing or by those who hear too easily. What does that mean? Hold on, I'm gonna jump down the hole. I, mean, I can't hear, I, I can't hear anyway. I never know what I'm doing. I keep wanting to like continue in the direction I'm going and it's the other way. By the hard of hearing all those who hear too easily. What does that mean? What am I hearing? I don't hear anything. I hear painful distortions. Uh, I don't want to like brute force it so I'm going to go by that. So that's a skull, that's a shovel, wings. No idea what that is. A uh, pushy hand, magnifying glass, bunny. Hmm. All right, there's just that in there. Is there anything else in here? I might just make a guess of bunny, because bunnies have really good hearing. No, it's not that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, thank you for the hydrate! Yeah, let me have some... A sip of my monster. Have a little sippy of the monster. But thank you! I need more brain cells. Yeah, a single one is so easy to brute force. Like, I could solve it right now just by putting all of the answers in, but I don't want to. I want to figure out what it is. I want to figure out what it means. Oh, actually, you know what? I want to go back to... I want to go back to the, the trader. Hello. Bam, 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 bam. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything that mentions like sound on one of the cards. A 
ba 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 provides gems, 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 gems. Hmm. Hover, force mage. No, I guess not. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to brute force this and I don't want to. It's like, oh, oops. I, I keep doing that. It goes so against me to climb up a staircase and then have to go in the opposite direction. <laughs> Even though it's like it makes sense because this is probably like a spiral tower with the spiral staircase. I still keep just immediately going back down the stairs. Maybe the dummy? The dummy's the hard of hearing because it has no ears? Boop, boop. Let's just go for it. Well, it, it doesn't really work because there's so many of them. There's three sigils in this fight. It's not gonna work. Hmm. Pushy. Oh, that just does direct damage. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I won without even seeing the third sigil, teehee. Hmm. Right, I can't interact with that again. Can I interact with this again? Nope. Can I interact with this again? Yeah, that's, those are the symbols from the first one. The skull wing skull. And then that one was like a wing pushy skull, I think. Oops, 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 I did it again! Did it again. Right, found by the hard of hearing or by those who hear too easily. Hold on, I want to try something. I'll just change those again. No, it's just random sounds every time. I was wondering if one of them might make a different sound as I, like, go around from it. Uh, I don't know. Boo. Boo. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna do it and see if I can figure it out afterwards. The shovel. Whoa, hello! At last, stimulation! <laughs> Hi. My test has been sensory deprivation, you see. <laughs> to unlock the full potential of my mind, you see. It's unlocked now! Hear me, Magnificus? I'm ready. We have to battle, okay? Wow, wow, he, th this, this person is not okay. This person is not all right. Okay, Sapphire Mox provides blue gems. Hover Mage is the direct strike. That's very annoying. If Gem Fiend's owner controls no Mox cards, Gem Fiend perishes. Okay, yep, so I bring these down. I kill the Sapphire Mox. That one will just die. But it does have two, two attacks, so I do need to tank that somehow. I do need something in place to block the hit for that. So I think, hmm, gonna be the grave digger. It's gonna have to be the grave digger, I think. So I'll smash that up. Get the grave digger. Put you here. This will do one damage, but one damage is okay. I can deal with that. Bum bum bum. Dig up a bone. Oh, there's another one there that's going to appear in the next turn. 
very annoying, but that's okay. Right, I just destroy this. And that one's gonna strike directly, so I'm this is a safe spot for me to dump this without it being hit. Do that, destroy the sapphire marks. That will get... No, th this is... Does this count as being on the board? I think this might still count as being on the board, which is a little painful. Cool. Well, I have to try. No, because it still owns one. Oh no, yeah, because it's not actually in play yet. It's just, like, going to be in play. So yes, it dies. Good. Good, good. Oh yeah, and this is just gonna die too as soon as it goes on the board if I just kill this. I just do that. And I can bring this in to do... Oh, if I do a direct hit here, it's gonna... Hmm. Do I wait a turn to place this? Oh, maybe maybe I get rid of the Gravedigger. I don't, I don't actually care about the Gravedigger anymore at this point. Well, I do. I, I do care about the Gravedigger. He's very helpful. But I think I do that so I can do my direct damage. And now, yeah, you just you just die. That's, that's very nice. But then this is great because if a creature would attack it, it doesn't. But it's not going to attack the Force Mage. It's just going to attack directly. Right, it is a little painful that this is going to keep attacking me directly, though. Oh, but then I could bring this out. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, this is what I do. I do this and this. Sacrifice both of them, bring out the raven. I, I, I need to make sure I can kill this. I'll put the raven here. That'll attack for three. And then I might as well stick another skeleton out. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Very nice. Only attacked me for two. I can, I can make that back very, very easily by just doing that. I'll attack for three there. I've almost won with that. One from there. Yep. Oh, no, I do win. Yeah, nice. Sorry, buddy. That was incredibly stimulating. We, we, we aren't done here, right? I wish to see the light again. To, to sing, to dance. You wouldn't leave, would you? I'm I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> nice. I got cards. Get me out of here. Oh, oh. If, if, if I open the door, you'll stop by on the way back and let let me out, right? Look, I do, I do want to let them out. I, I don't think they should be trapped here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take down Magnificus. I'm going to save these poor, poor, poor people from whatever horrific fates they have at the moment. Oh, hello. There's the paint. Oh, is it like magical paint, I guess? The note reads... Dearest Grimora, I believe PO3's plot may go far past the extent of a common power grab. Indeed, this great transcendence will have catastrophic and unpredictable results. This note, the note is incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider... Hmm. Hmm. Before I talk to you, I want to sneak in here. Whoa, hello. What is this? What is happening? Whoa, hi! <laughs> Why did it save when I poked the tentacle? Hi! <laughs> what is happening? Why did- why did the- oh, I don't know why it auto-saved when I touched the tentacle. I hope I haven't done something horrific here. Right, I guess it's time to... Talk to Magnificus. I feel quite confident in my deck at the moment. 
I like my deck. So let's give it a try. He is just like a moss creature. <laughs> he looks like he was dragged through a hedge and then decided to become the hedge. Ah, uh, you are here at last. How do my pupils fare? Um, I'm, I kind of beat them all. No matter, there are far more concerning issues at hand. Do you understand the canvas that you have been woven into? I'm going to be completely honest, probably not. <laughs> Nay, you are the brush, and the artist moves you with a terrifying mastery. Wait, am I the artist? Wait. Like, I'm the brush? I'm the artist? My eye aches with premonition. The future is very, very grim. First, we must battle. Okay. Whoa, painting! Hi! Behold, the brush of the scribe of mag magics. My pupils would die to be painted by it and live forever as a card. But that is not the full extent of its powers. Oh? This one needs some bleach. That's cheating. What did you just do to my card? Now for a bit of color. What are you doing? What are you doing? Buddy! What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing to Oh, hi! Oh, bye. Uh, hello, see you. Uh got nine health so that's always gonna have gems oh no this oh oh i don't like this okay so when skeleton perishes a ruby mox is created in its place great wonderful when skeletons played a rabbit's created in my hand i guess i'm getting rabbits i don't want ruby moxes Oh, I love your dancing. I'm so glad you have the chance to experience this. Wonderful. Okay, but Grave Digger, Grave Digger being stricken and then dealing damage back is very nice. I do like that. I don't want a Ruby Mox. I don't want one. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's play the skeleton that will give me a rabbit. Why not? That's, it's a rabbit that gives me a rabbit. Okay, uh, we've got a tank. Right, I want the grave digger. Oh, hold on. Rabbit that gives me a rabbit. Let's play it. Whoa, what does this one do? Mox cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. Oh, okay. Well, oh, maybe that could be good then. Get a ruby mox and have the rabbit to... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What is this fight? Can I... Goodbye, rabbit. I, I killed it. <laughs> I want to play this. So then when it's attacked, it will do damage back. But it'll... It, it's not going to get me bones anymore. It doesn't have the the digging ability. So my grave digger is kind of just like a little spike tank. This, it, this really does not feel great. Let's just... Okay. All right. All right, the spikes dig in. Skeleton left a ruby mox in its place. What does that one do now? It's also spikes. It's great. It's great. I love this. I love this. This is wonderful. Uh... Okay, oh, this is what's giving the Mox cards power, so destroy that. That should be okay, then. It'll bring this down, so my skeleton will die, probably, but that's okay. And then, yeah, and then I'll bring out the rabbit so that this, <laughs> my Mox has power now as well. <laughs> this is, this is bizarre. Okay, boom, boom. All right, 
you just destroyed yourself with that. Okay. Uh, um, I've got a spiky zombie. <laughs> oh, this is what is happening. You know what? Let's get another mox. Why not? Get my own moxes. Why not? Sure. Gravedigger's gonna die in a second, but it's, it's okay. It's alright. Um, this is weird. It's such a weird fight. This music as well is so, like, unsettling. <laughs> right, goodbye, Gravedigger, but... No! No, not the Mance's God. No! Why? Why this? Why? You know what, zombie? Perish. Give me a ruby mox. Give me a bone. And we got a spiky zombie. So you're gonna attack me, but you're also gonna perish. So... <laughs> oh, this is... That's... Okay, okay, okay. Alright. What's that one now? Great. Great. Amazing. I love it. It's so useful. What a what a great card. Right, well I guess Mantis God can just Oh, I need a sacrifice for it. Yeah, sacrifice the bunny. And then Mantis God can at least kill the gem for you. This this is horrible. What what is the, okay. You know what, whatever. I think I win this round. Let's let's see what the second round's gonna bring. I'm I'm very excited for it. It's gonna be great. I can tell. Hmm. I must I must be slowing down with age. I may need to set my brush upon my own cards once again. Please give your own cards terrible things. What is? Wait. What did you just do? Oh, when Hawk is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of Mox cards on your side of the board. <laughs> this is one. Well, I guess if I sacrifice that, it would be two. Wait, actually, yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice that and that. Stick that there. Draw another card. That's great, thanks, wonderful, love it. But then that's gonna do three damage. And then that will do one damage. And if I can just play, yeah, I can just play one more. There, five damage. I can, I can win. I can win. I think, just like that. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Get me out of here. <laughs> Very well. Oh, I did it. Three out of four. <laughs> Completed the Temple of Magics. Very well. We have battled. And now I may speak. You see, my eye, it aches because it remembers it was excised by none other than Leshy, the scribe of beasts. And a beast he is, arrogant, single-minded, obsessed with gaining power. But he is far from the worst scribe to become a... a, 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 a what? Hold on, where's my dictionary? What? Uh? Hegemon? What does that mean? Might not even be in my dictionary, to be fair. It's a small dictionary. Oh, it is in here! Oh, hegemony! Okay, hegemony is a noun that means dominance of one group or state over another. Oh, lovely, great. That's, that's wonderful. That's, that's great. Love it. Love it. Great. Mm -hmm. You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. You must be especially made. Uh, well, I, I guess I can't be made aware of whatever that is. Thanks. Um, I bet that was PO3. 
that looked glitchy. I bet that's PO3. Like, of all the people, I don't think Grimoire is going to be the one with the, the superiority complex, considering the stoat and what an incredible, awful, terrible asshole he was. <laughs> but we're learning. Also, oh, amazed at the first try win on that. Most time you see decks remade for it. Oh, I'm... I had a lot of trouble before I really, like, found my my footing with my my deck of skeletons. But that went, that went really well. That went better than I expected it to with the, the sigil shenanigans. <laughs> I just, I like my skeletons. I'm happy with lots of skeletons. And I got a magical card pack. Mage Knight, Master Gorange. Emerald Mox, Skelomagus, whoa. Oh, that's a combined one. That's Mox and Bones. And then there's Meatbot. Nice. And again, another one. Bam bam bam, Bleens Mox. Nice. Right, well. Is there anything else through here? Cause there's like the paint leading up to this. I'm like, what's what's going on here? I'm worried. Well, the, the, I touched the tentacle in there. I don't know if I should have done that, but I sure did it. And yeah. Right, you know what? Let's get out of here. Uh, wait, I just realized the time. I <laughs> I didn't realize how late it got. Hello? What the heck? When did it become 1am? What the heck? I've been playing this for like five minutes. Hello? I fully lost track of time. Oh my goodness. Oh, that does not feel like four hours has passed. Whoa, that is... That does not feel like four hours. What the heck? Oh, this is so fun though. I guess that is a good spot to leave it at. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I did not expect any of this. This is so fascinating. But oh, that was that was a, a fruitful stream, I think. That went pretty well. I did not I, I genuinely lost track of time. I I just like glanced at the clock to check what time it was to see like how long I should prepare and it's already past one. I didn't expect that. <laughs> but yeah, it's a perfect a perfect spot to leave it at. Let's uh get out of here. And next time I will continue. But for now, I quit. Get me out of here. I shall bloop. I'll head on over to here and we can find a target to send a raid onto. Oh, this game is incredible. I'm, I'm, I've got ideas of where I think it might be going. And I'm very curious to know if it's going to be what I think, but I also don't want to say my theories out loud because I feel like if I get them right, there's going to be someone who like hints at me being right and I don't want that. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much everyone for joining me today. I, that, that, that's actually a really good point to leave the stream at. That's, that's a really good stopping point. It timed perfectly. But uh, yeah, with that, I shall... Uh, no, I don't. I don't want to know the solution. If if I wanted to, I would ask it. But if if I don't say something, if I don't say, could someone let me know this? Then I do not want to know. That the, the pinned message. I tap it. I throw it on the ground. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm so curious to know where this is gonna go now. I I still need to figure out the the sacrifice thing. But that was really fun. I can't wait until oh next week. Next week, it's gonna be the end of spooky season, so I'm gonna be back to having pink hair again, but I'm I'm still playing this. I'm still gonna keep playing this until I've completed it, so. <laughs> so don't worry about it being like limited to the season. I'm, I'm gonna keep going. I need to finish this game, it's so fun. But yes, it is 1 a.m. now though, so I should probably try and get some rest. But yes, oh, Aldo, right at the end. Oh, I'm glad you were able to, to pop in either way, though. But I, I did. I have a, had a great stream. Thank you. Oh, you just woke up. I'm just going back to bed. <laughs> we're, we're swapping. We're swapping roles, I guess. But uh, yes, I will be back to the pink-haired cat girl from the UK 
Well, I mean, I still am a pink-haired cat girl. Just just because it's dyed doesn't mean my hair isn't pink underneath the dye. <laughs> but yes, let's find a target to send a raid to. Let's see. Let's see who's on. Wait, I know who I want to raid. I know who I want to raid. I never get to raid them because of time zones and when they stream. But they've actually... They're, they're doing a late stream today. <laughs> I'm raiding Hiragiyu. Hiragiyu is a, a host VTuber. They are wonderful. They are lovely. I never get to raid them because they either stream... Like, they do Sunday morning streams, which are, like, right before I stream on a Sunday evening. Like, time zone-wise. Or they stream at, like, 4 a.m. my time. <laughs> so I never get the chance to raid them. So I'm... I'm gonna raid them. I'm sending the raid their way. But yes, thank you for joining me today. I, I know the raid message was already already posted, but I will post it again. If you are subbed, we've got fire. If not, there's still fire because there's always fire in, in memory of the um, the poor mage whose head was skewered in a lava field. <laughs> but yes, I'm so excited. I'm gonna send the raid over to the, the lovely Yukon who is, they are so lovely. Their streams are just like the best vibes. They are wonderful. Please send the love from me. And I'm so excited for next week. I'm I'm gonna have like a look through my cards between streams, maybe, because I want I wanna have a <laughs> I wanna have a look at all the details and stuff. But yes, for now I must go get some sleep because it's it is late. And I'm also incredibly tired. <laughs> but yes, it was a fun time. I'm I'm glad I got to play this. I can't wait till next week. Next week's gonna be exciting. I've got my. I'm gonna be releasing a World of Horror mod, um, character mod, which means you can play World of Horror as me. And I'm gonna be finishing Strange Horticulture and gonna be playing Divinity Wazanda and playing more of this. So it's gonna be a good week. I'm looking forward to it. But for now, bedtime. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye bye.